the different sayings and have a nice assortment in the retail stores. One note, um, two notes actually. One is any of the new um, gift collections, that will be shipping mid-August. And then anything that Studio M makes is shipping end of July. So all, you'll note that all the shipping dates are um, printed at the end of each slide so you'll know exactly when the different things are shipping. One price change, we do have a couple price changes throughout and they are noted in red. They're all very minimal. Our Garden Humor totes are moving um, uh, $9.50 to $10, effective $6.15. So with the release of the new catalog, the new price change takes effect. Okay. Now, if you're looking for um, those cute little misters in your sample, um, package that we sent you. Unfortunately, we didn't get those in yet to sample those um, out to you. They will be here in the next um, couple of weeks. So as soon as we get those um, in, we'll be sending those out. One thing Gretchen and I would like for you to do is to make sure you take a look at all your samples. Is there anything else you need? Maybe your towel that you've had before in one of the garden plant lines is, is um, dirty or looking quite shop worn and you need to get a new one um, or um, maybe you'd like to switch out for a different one. If you need any other samples, please get your sample orders in this week so that when the misters come in and then we're also missing the small heart note bells, when those come in, we'll be able to package everything together and ship it out to you right away. So again, um, by the end of this week, make sure you have sent in to Maureen um, what you um, may need, if you need anything at all to freshen up your samples. And that's for core too, if you need any new core samples. Um, and it's really important, especially for you on the, all of you on the West Coast, because your show is the last one. You really want to be hitting the road and getting your orders in. Just a reminder, we ship first in and first out. And as you see this new product, um, we really have been, I will use the term aggressive. We've been very aggressive with forecasting and planning inventory. But, you know, despite all of our best efforts, we may sell out of something. So you want to make sure that your customers are orders are in, so they're among the first to ship out. Uh, we're going to go quickly through the next two slides. This is Garden Dirt, and these are the new extensions in the, what is offered in the Garden Dirt. It's exactly as you see them with the different sayings on them. And then on Plant Lady, you'll notice that Plant Lady has only one water bottle where um, Garden Dirt had three. It does have the three misters and the three um, wine glasses. And then Bird Nerd has just the wine glasses and the one water bottle. Again, ship date mid-August. So then we go on to our new collection, Buzz Off, which this is one you want to take note of. We're receiving a lot of great feedback on it, and um, Tammy is going to share some exciting news with our Wild Bird stores. Yeah, this was actually a great launch. When we did the sneak peek on it, we immediately um, got hits left and right from retailers um, wanting to know how soon they could order it and, and when it was going to be available. Um, I wanted to share with you that Wild Birds Unlimited stores um, are doing a big um, uh, pollinator launch at their June um, vendor market. They have their own um, individual show, which we participate in, um, and they have selected Studio M to be their partner with their pollinator launch. So they're launching insect houses and, and bee houses and all kinds of things to support the bees. And then um, they were looking for a gift vendor to partner with who also had um, product related to bees. So um, they were um, thrilled when we kind of previewed this collection with them. They um, shared it with um, some of their vendor leadership group, and um, it had a really positive response. So it will be featured within Vendor Mart. Um, so definitely um, you want to make sure, in particular with all your Wild Birds Unlimited stores, that you're definitely um, sharing this product um, with them. And the great thing about this is, is you know bees are, are such a big movement um, not only is it funny from the buzz off and get buzzed um, standpoint but also those who take bees very seriously as as we should without the bees we wouldn't be 
um, no pun intended, that, you know, all of the work that they do in terms of pollination and, um, you know, helping the farmers, um, helping, you know, create pharmaceutical um, type things, everything about how important the bees are. So give bees a chance. And I'm a keeper that shows the little honeycomb on it. It is also, you know, you can, you know, tune this up and do it very tongue in cheek and, and spunky, or you can give it a more realistic, uh, you know, approach with give bees a chance, which really speaks to um, the important roles that bees play. So when exactly is Wild Bird putting out their pollination stuff in their stores? Yep, yeah, they'll be launching it at their June vendor market and with um, July, August delivery on it. Okay, so yours is right in the same time. Okay. Yep, we're right in the hunt. Yep. Okay, so let's take a look at the items. You'll find that the um, collection is full of the same items as the other garden humor collections plus a couple others that we'll get to and I will not go through all of these sayings but as Tammy pointed out you know it's a collection of some fun ones like queen bee don't kill my buzz and buzzed for the wine glasses but then in the mugs you have the I'm a keeper and give bees a chance and home is where your honey is so there's a nice mix of different sayings um, as with the other garden humor lines and garden dirt in particular not every saying is on every item so it's a nice mix we have the honeycomb shaped trinket dishes and those will be boxed the same as the ones in the other line and we have um, one water bottle it says i'm a keeper and then on the next page we have all of the different textiles with the pouches the flower sack towels tote bags, um, three aprons, and then the set of three journals at the bottom. Um, and then going on, new for this collection. So this is exciting. We've expanded this into a couple of our core categories, the garden flags with the buzz off, give bees a chance, and home is where your honey is for the garden flags. And then we've repeated those same three sayings in the map mates. And you'll notice on the map they have um, that grayish background on all three of them, um, definitely to hide some of the dirt and um, all of that. And then we have new, and it's not so new for some of you, we have the um, paper coasters that we had before. We're doing them in a die cut um, honeycomb shape. They come in a pack of 18 and there's 18 per Saying. So you'll get 18 Queen Bee or 18 Buzzed or 18 Don't Kill My Buzz. They come tied with the jute string. All three have the same um, backing on it with the um, bees, the little swarm of bees on the reverse side. And one thing that I wanted to point out is that honeycomb shaped coaster fits perfectly in the honeycomb shaped trinket dish. So that would be a great merchandising opportunity for your retail stores. So these um, products here will be available the end of July, whereas the other ones that we looked at in the previous pages will be shipping mid-August. There's also a great carryover planter set um, from spring that is the galvanized with the metal trim on it. And it has a little emblem on the front that has a bee. Um, on it. So you'll see in the showrooms where we've merchandised that design um, from January in with this product to kind of carry around the bee theme. So that's a great planter to, um, you know, the small one, you could load up tons of coasters in that and use it as a, a display piece for all the um, coasters. It's great to do a whole bee theme of the flags and you could do a planter insert in the 18 inch one. Um, or you can just, um, you know, use them as individual display pieces for your customer, but it really helps kind of round out the collection and build a bigger volume size order for you and give more pieces for the retailer to beef up their average uh, price points with as well. Okay. So moving along, we have a new, not so new Studio M Caddy. This for those of you who remember, um, this is a reincarnation of the caddy that we had associated with Mini Garden. And this is a great tool and a um, great branding opportunity for any of the garden collection 
item, the Garden Humor Collection items. Um, you see it here with the pouches, um, certainly the trinket dishes fit in there, the journals. Uh, this is another great place to merchandise those coasters. So that's free with a $150 order. If somebody wants to buy it outright, it's $20. You know, we feel very strongly about providing stores with merchandising opportunities to really help sell their product, give you real estate in the stores, and you'll be seeing another new um, fixture opportunity coming up as we move along today. Wine glasses also um, work yep. really in there, the, uh, well in there, and um, from uh, the upcoming field guide collection that you'll see in a few minutes, there's a lot of paper products in there that could also work back into this fixture to help give uh, those paper products a home. So we'll refer to that when we hit that slide. And then we're moving on to Eight Inch Angels. You're up, Tammy. Yep. Wings of Whimsy are on their um, third season now, and they continue to be um, some of our highest revenue per SKU um, in uh, the entire line. Um, we've expanded the eight inch angels. We've also expanded the ornaments, and you'll see um, some of um, those best selling designs are starting to get interpreted a little bit differently into various different um, sizes. So um, there's a slight um, price increase here from 14 to 14.50, um, um, and the same on the um, angel ornaments going from eight to 8.50, um, just in the cost of materials going up, but we think these are, are pretty minimal, um, particularly for the amount of bang for the buck that these um, individual keepsake items offer. Mm -hmm. So here in the um, eight inch angels, you'll see four new designs. I won't, again, I'm not going to read all of this detail um, just because of the time that we have today, but you can read all of the different sentiments. Um, I did want to point out the angel with the cross always with you. That was a request we had right away when we introduced the ornament with the cross. Um, and the other one that I think is super cute is, um, and something that you can use all year long is peace on earth and with the heart-shaped earth on there. Then moving to the ornament angels, we have six new ones. We continue to have all of the angels ornaments that we um, are currently in the catalog. I will say by the end of the year, some will phase out. So you'll see that some of the slower sellers will phase out and we'll have and these new ones will replace those. Um, and you have a collection here of some winter, Christmas, um, certainly ones that you could use for fall. And again, in this um, ornament angel, you have the peace and love, the angel holding the earth in a heart shape. And again, these are all shipping mid-August. We continue to have the ornament display available. Um, you'll find all new scan and goes that update using um, the um, new angels and incorporate that um, into them. Also, um, one of the things we wanna mention on the scan and goes, we have made a slight change um, since we've been out now for a while with some of these fixtures. Um, instead of the fixture automatically being included in all the scan and goes, we're keeping that item number on on the sheet for the scan and go, but it won't automatically be included in the package because your customer may very well have the display already. So giving them another display is not necessarily what's needed. Um, just keep in mind that the um, scan for the display will always be there. If the customer qualifies for the buy-in, you can certainly add the display. Um, as Gretchen mentioned earlier, we love to make sure that the retailer always has a home for their product but we also don't want to stockpile displays in their back room for things that they won't ever use. Um, so again, you'll note that all of your displays are at the bottom of your scan and go sheets, um, unlike before where they were included. So if you need the display, scan the display. If you don't, then great, the package is there just with the product in it. So new to Wings of Whimsy is our new friends, the Pet Angels. This was probably, this group probably tied with the um, Buzz Off collection as some of the, you know, quickest feedback that we had um, from the retailers. 
And just for fun, I, I was looking at, um, you know, as we were uh, looking at this collection and kind of um, talking about where we could take Wings of Whimsy next, um, there was an article in um, Forbes, uh, Forbes magazine, and it was on the power of the pet industry overall as a whole. And it was saying that the millennials have now um, surpassed the baby boomers in terms of those who um, own uh, a pet now. So they are the largest um, pet giving segment of all that own pets. In fact, there's 84.6 million people um, out there um, that own pets versus 52.8 million who have kids. So more pets than kids there. Um, <laughs> of all households actually have um, a pet. Um, depending on what, you know, kind of what um, um, article you go by, it's estimated that the pet industry is anywhere from an 82 billion to over $100 billion industry. And that really only 40% of that is spent on pet food. Um, so the balance of that is, um, pet gifts and you know it talked a lot about um, costumes as one of the the biggest um, sellers for um, pets right now but also pet memorial which certainly pet angels fall um, into and likely why our um, pet poles our dog and cat poles and memorial poles have done so well and have always been amongst our top sellers. Um, Zoo Lily did a um, pet survey of customers and um, it was uh, the survey that they did, 42%, if you can believe this, 42% of all um, pet owners said that if given a choice, they would much rather snuggle with their pet than snuggle with their significant other. <laughs> I'm not sure what that says about their more significant <laughs> others, but it certainly says a heck of a lot about the pet industry out there. So we've got six dogs and two cats um, and um, just um, cute uh, little angels to help support and get and so take cute. a chunk of that over a hundred billion dollar pet industry. Mm -hmm. I just um, um, add a couple points here. These are fourteen fifty, which is the same price as the eight inch um eight inch angels and these uh they're they're seven inches but they're they do have the same presence they're a little bit beefier wider as they are animals sitting they are packaged the same as the eight inch angels where they come in that gift box that you see in the upper left and upper right sorry um and they will have a hang tag with the sentiment on there. You can take a look through this and see all of the different um, um, breeds of dogs and cats. I will make one point though, just these are artistic interpretations. So just because you see, as an example, the golden retriever, it could also be a yellow lab or the French bulldog could also be like a Boston Terrier because they're not, so they're not true in interpretations of each of the different breeds. And I think that the sentiment fits anybody, whether they're just a pet lover, whether they have that particular type of pet, or is it a memorial for their, mm -hmm. um, their beloved pet that maybe has passed on or gone over the rainbow bridge, as we like to say. You know, we thought about after this catalog went to press that we probably should have not named them Boxer, Yorkshire Terrier, et cetera, but we probably should have named it like, you know, Spot and Fido and Fluffy or, or whatever so that people won't, you know, really focus on the name. So make sure you, you know, again, take your sample in, you know, with you. Make sure you're going through the catalog and the fact that this could be, there's so many mixed breeds out there that, you know, really kind of fall into um, looking very much like, you know, just because it's a boxer, he looks like a, a mixed breed that, you know, you find at many, many pet shelters. So um, don't let your customer get hung up on um, the actual breed name. Going into heart notes. Heart notes like Wings of Whimsy um, really kind of um, lead the pack for us, um, per se, in terms of revenue per SKU. So you can sell, again, continue to sell these with confidence. Um, we haven't seen um, these numbers, you know, wane in, in, in any way. 
um, which is why we decided to not only expand them with six new occasion bells, but to also add in um, the little bells. When you go big, you can also go small um, and create an additional opportunity um, for a buy-in. I think what's important is, um, you know, again, as we look at bells as a total, we're seeing bells regardless if it's a bird bell or whether it's um, a bell that has sentiment on it. The category is a strong one overall. Certainly occasions kind of lead the uh, ringing the volume bell, if you will. We still have the birthday bells um, in stock and they're moving along, but the occasion bells are nice because there's always an event and, and that's what these six bells are meant to do is to extend the occasions um, to create more gift giving opportunities um, for the customer. I was mentioning on the last call that I had recently bought a um, birthday card and I about fell over at the cash register when I paid $9.95 for a card. So I, I hope the card has lots of meaning, but I also know that that card is gonna go right in the garbage can. Um, and I like to call these occasion bells really living gift cards um, because it has such a great message on the back um, from the artist. Um, and uh, so Lori's done a, a beautiful message about how important, you know, this sentiment is and the important occasion that it's celebrating or um, in, um, in, in memory of. Um, but then you get this great bell on the inside, too. So I think, um, again, the price point is terrific. Um, we have had a slight price increase going from 10 to 1050, um, but still a great value considering um, the gift boxing and the product inside. We've also focused on a Christmas bell. You'll see that on the second um, uh, level right there in the middle, Christmas traditions. May every Christmas be peaceful and loving. This has a little bit deeper green, so rather than the, the you know lilac or pink or gray kind of um, ombre wash at the bottom, it has a little bit deeper of a green and, and we think this um, could become a, a really nice collectible um, for the holidays um, that you would give. The ornament bells are great to um, again add in. You don't want your customer to think well you know I've done the, the full-size bells maybe now I'll switch to the miniature bells. These are great to merchandise um, together and to um, mix with the larger bells. They're also great, you know, for a retailer to think about selling, you know, three to one customer. The top um, row, prayers, loved, and here for you, all kind of are in that similar yet different vein and could all be merchandised, you know, together, given together and hung at three different levels, let's say in a window or something. Um, the same way with the bottom three, the celebrate, the wishes, and the blessed. Um, they still, despite the fact of their um, small size, they're two and a half inches in diameter um, and um, just under three inches high, they still have a nice little ring uh, to them. And again, they're in the same type of um, gift box um, with a, um, instead of a photo, there'll be a sketch on, on top, but still the same message um, on the box. These are slightly um, later than the others um, because of some reworks on the packaging. Um, they're slated to be the end of August. However, um, they are kind of running ahead on that. So um, we think they may very well be in the middle of August. Um, but right now we're saying the end of August on the bells, on the small bells. Okay. And you can see all of the detail there. So when you have received this presentation, you want to take a look at that and see all of the different information. It will have the hang tag with the sentiment as well as the gift box. So it can be merchandised again on the um, leaf display or on the tabletop bell display along with the other um, part note bells. Okay, so now we have one of our runaway hits of the um, January shows, our bird song. Birdsong bells were by far, um, we knew that they were great, we all loved them, um, but we were, and we certainly um, upped our forecasting based on how well we thought heart note bells did. We knew that these would be probably even stronger as an introduction, 
And despite our best forecasting, um, we still sold out of our first shipment by the end of the um, January shows. And um, just to point out, they are coming back in stock this week. So we'll begin um, shipping all of those back orders and any new orders that have come in that we've been holding. Um, you'll note there that there's a price change for the birds, um, for, for the bells from uh, 12 to 1250. Any of the orders that we have in house um, before um, June 15th will ship at the $12 price, and then effective June 15th, they'll be going up to. 1250. You know, one of the reasons why it took so long to come back in stock is these are hand painted. They're handcrafted, hand painted bells. Uh, they take there's a lot of detail on them, and they it takes a lot of work really to produce each one. Um, and you'll see on the extensions that it has the same level of detail. We have. Um, certainly forecasted the extensions in accordance with how well the first round of the bird bells did. So while we don't expect to run out, I will mention again that you have your samples and you'll have the catalog on your iPads the end of this week. And being that your show is later in the season, I would certainly try and hit the road with your um, with your samples and your catalog and get as many orders as you can. This is this whole collection with the extension. It's going to be great for our um, gift giving season coming up. As Gretchen mentioned this, um, you know, this is a very specialized painting. In fact, at the factory, which um, the factory that we use that makes these there, it's just, I mean, they have so many wonderful painters there who just do such an amazing job um, at painting. Yet out of this group of amazing artists, only about 15% um, of them can actually paint these birds um, because they have such a unique stylized way of painting. So, um, you know, we, we really leaned in hard when we looked at, you know, ordering them, but you know, how high is high? You guys are amazing as to what um, you did from the, you know, first um, buy-in of, of the bells or first sell-in of the bells. So um, all we can say is is continue to lean into them because they've, they've done extremely well. And it's great to see um, not only, you know, was this product um, the quickest to sell. I, I don't think we've seen anything like this since when we first launched Miniature Gardening. Um, when it first came onto the scene, but these sold out um, so quickly and it was an immediate reorder for the stores too, from the short time that people received them to when they were already reordering them. And of course we were virtually, you know, um, sold out. Um, so um, again, get your orders in on these. There's plenty of um, opportunity and, and now that um, if your customer isn't a bell person, now they have the sit arounds or the ornaments or the plant pokes. So three different um, new categories. So we have the decorate, decorative figurines and these are approximately the same size as the bell without the quacker on it. Um, these will be packaged the same. They'll come in a color gift box with the message on the back. Great gift giving opportunity. And um, they're at 11.50 and Again, mid-August shipment. So you want to get out there and get those or orders. So ornaments. So this is a new um, size. These are about two inches, uh, three inches high, two inches wide. Uh, they're same level of detail that is on the bells and the figurines. These will be packaged slightly different. They will have a color hang tag, but the, they will be packaged in a craft box with color swirls to match the bird. So for example, the cardinal will have red swirls and the hummingbird will have green and the bluebird blue, etc. These look great. Um, if it's not something that you want to hang, they would look really cute um, sitting next to the figurine. So you have a couple of different sizes um, shown together. And then finally, we have our plant pokes. Now, one thing I want to point out right away, because I know plant pokes were very good for all of you on the West Coast, our previous plant pokes were in assortments. 
these are sold in four per bird. So it's four of the goldfinch, four of the cardinal, and four of the bluebird. I do want to make sure that you make note of that. And these are going to look spectacular in any type of green plant to give a, a little pop of color or in a flowering plant just to add that extra little something um, to the plant itself. So think about um, these, you know, at a holiday time period when you're giving um, a poinsettia and sticking a cardinal in there or you're doing paper whites and sticking the cardinal or, or in the bluebird as an example and wishing somebody, you know, ha the bluebird of happiness and happiness and, and um, love for the new year. So um, these are great little add on items that um, can be, you know, included within, um, you know, a, a plant um, or, you know, again, you can put them all together in your own set and, and um, offer them. But there, um, again, with, um, we've really leaned into the cardinal um, because we know that's going to be a big seller. Well, if you think about all of your holiday flags, many of them have a cardinal in it. Um, and again, it's, it's the interpretation of uh, the cardinal about how that um, will look fun just stuck in a holiday planter. So then we're moving on to wildflowers. So this is the latest collection um, in the field guide grouping by Sally Ekman Roberts. And it features violets and daisies, forget-me-nots, sunflowers, thistle, and coneflowers. So nice new grouping there. And in this collection, you'll see many of the similar items that we've had in the birds and the butterflies. Uh, certainly have all of the different mugs. Um, the trinket dish, which is um, really spectacular with the different um, flowers on them. One thing, important thing to um, note is that each of these have the name of the flower on them. So unlike the birds and the butterflies that were just playing, these actually feature as part of the artwork the name of the flower. So the mugs, again, will have the little hang tag that talks about the different type of flower. The ceramic um, trinket dish is in the lidded um, craft gift box. We have the set of three journals, all you know, made the same way as the other ones. And then a new item for us. These will be new tote bags. They're handmade the same as the other ones. They're 100% cotton with a linen-like hand, so they kind of feel like linen. They're a different hand than on the, um, the um, Garden Humor collection tote bags. They're a little, they're, you'll see that they're constructed slightly differently. These have a white ground where the other ones have more of a natural ground to them. And um, they are like the Garden Humor in that they do have an interior zipper pocket. Um, both the tote bag is available in both the wildflowers and the birds. And in this particular item, the bird, it does list all the different species of birds, the same as it will show all of the different names of the flowers on the tote bag. So that was one thing that we did add on these extensions. And then moving into the canvas wall art, again, same construction as we did with the birds and the butterflies with the colored edges, the finished back. Um, it will have a little blurb on the back of each one about the different flowers. Um, and again, you'll see on here that where it has the name of the different flowers on all of the canvases. And I just, the large canvas in here is just absolutely stunning. And again, has all of the wildflower names on. Them. So then brand new, and this is what um, Tammy had talked about when we were looking at that little caddy is that this would be great, a great display. Um, for these items. You'll have notepads, they're, they're sticky. Both the um, notepad and the um, weekly planners are, have sticky backs so you can stick them wherever you'd like, just like a post-it note. Um, 50 lined sheets with the um, sticky notepads. They'll have a belly band, both will have a belly band and we, um, both the weekly planner and the sticky notes will be shrink wrapped individually. And what's cute about the birds is the bird you'll see is die cut around 
on the sticky notes as well as the weekly planner. So you can stick that weekly planner on a wall, on a refrigerator, on your bathroom mirror to remember what you need to do. Um, and they're a nice size as well. And then going into wall hangings. We learned a lot about um, this category that we launched in January, January about what worked and what really didn't work. Um, and so we tried to capitalize on obviously what did work. Um, that more vintage feel um, certainly lends itself really well to the um, burlap. Um, birds have, as a whole have always done really well for us. And we think these um, vintage um, po kind of, they look like vintage postage um, stamps by Susan Wingett. Um, are going to be in particularly very strong. Um, the retailers certainly appreciated having either multiples of twos or threes so that they could hang them in groupings. So we've um, definitely um, focused on that. You see a few designs for fall. You see some nice fall and winter um, birds um, and the butterflies and, and ferns. This whole botanical look still um, continues to be strong overall. And on the next group, on the next 12, you see the top um, left, the three floral designs are floral designs, which were the, um, let's see, we had the hydrangea and the iris and everything for spring. Those were our best selling designs in the floral. And so we repeated the, these in fall florals and they have a really wonderful, rich colorations on them. And of course, um, it was a natural to do the amaryllis um, for the holidays. Um, anything with verbiage on it, like you see the lower um, right hand corner, live love and, and live simply. Those were based off of the um, big success that we had of the ones with a little bit brighter springtime colors on it that said love life, enjoy the little things and um, live happy on them. So um, we think uh, we've kind of refreshed these into fall colorations. Um, again, the great fixture for these is your um, the mobile item feature um, fixture that is the same fixture without the hangers on it that we use to feature mats on. Um, these work really well um, on the fixtures or for simply for your retailer to um, hang them up on the wall. And again, still a great price point um, at that $750 price point. So moving along, monogrammable ornaments, we're introducing 12 new designs. A um, couple of requests we had were for uh, additional sports balls and particularly uh, sporting for women, which in this upper left hand corner is the soft well and it is that yellow color. And you'll also see the basketball and the soccer ball. And we've expanded this to include not just Christmas, but we have teacher and some coastal. Then we also have our very, um, popular, the um, buffalo plaid and the black and white check. And then art pots this was a group that um, was probably another slightly surprise of a runaway hit with at the shows in January. Um, the new, everybody seemed to respond very well to the polypropylene um, material as well as how we now um, wrap the rim in addition to the pot itself and the new sizing of the pot. This again is food safe. It's a hand wash if food is used. But you'll see in our season, uh, seasonal designs, we do have one baby and one teacher. And then we go into Halloween. This is, Halloween is great. So whether you use it as a little part to hold trick-or-treat candy or to just decorate your desk and put be the one in the office that has a great um, candy candy pot we'll call it and then we move into um, some Christmas and fall um, way over here with the green one next to the Thanksgiving um, this is Friendsgiving is the green one some other unique ones we have the holiday cats and the holiday dogs uh, definitely the buffalo plaid as well. That The black and white check was one of the top sellers, so we, that will be a top seller as well. Keep and in mind that um, fourth quarter is, you know, a huge gift-giving um, time period for um, um, 
treats, you know, whether it's homemade and individuals are making things and looking for a fun container to put it in, um, or, you know, they're buying gourmet treats at the store and looking for something to put it in. So the fact that these are food safe, I think, gives this a huge fourth quarter um, possibility. Also, uh, you know, beyond Mother's Day, um, fourth quarter holidays are the time when everybody gives, you know, flowers and plants and, and blooming um, plants. So again, with this little bit um, wider um, diameter and the revised shape here, it makes it perfect for somebody who's, you know, wanting to drop some sort of a plant, something that they picked up at the grocery store versus a garden center. Um, that um, they can just drop that plant right in there or for simply your for your retailers to use these as little gift pots and putting together things that they might currently have in their store right now and creating gifts to go um, for those shoppers mm -hmm. okay. so then um, new this year as you all know we did um, new um, poles and planters that were part of garden collection in um, early by these are two new um, planter and one new pole um, that were not part of early buy that you'll see in the showrooms. One is this terracotta look, which is absolutely stunning when you see it. If you look from far away, you would have no idea that it's not real terracotta. And then we have a nice basic for holiday is the peppermint stripe, which we also added the Bee Mary um, map to go with it. So that will be a new map that your customers haven't seen. And then the one new pole, the 40 inch art pole for Hello Autumn by Susan Wingett, which is just a lovely collection of everything that you see in the fall. You know, unfortunately, you guys, these, these planters and, and pole were not ready for um, early buy, but they are, I think, you know, some of our, our prettiest, the um, fall planters, it, that orange and the various shades of orange, they hit every fall flag we have. Um, so really anything just works right back with that. The Hello Autumn Susan Wingett pole looks spectacular inside um, of these planters. So really make sure that you're sharing these um, with your retailer. They may be, you know, say, oh, well, you know, I saw this on early buy. No, you didn't see these. Um, these are you know, terrific new additions. The peppermint stripes, those were done in-house and created by our in-house art team um, for something a little bit more fun and whimsical um, for the holidays. So then I want to talk about, just take a, a pause here to talk about custom art planters. So we introduced the ability to customize art planters in January and We've had a lot of um, positive response to that, lots of people ordering. And we initially launched it as a branding opportunity for um, garden centers, nurseries, florists to really brand their business and put their business name in the year established. And right away we had a lot of requests to do a city or state or locale and the date that place was established and initially we didn't we wanted to walk before we could run but we have um we have started taking um orders for city or state and date established and we um, can do that so those are your two options either a garden center or our business a name i should say in the date established or a city in date established or a state in name state established. You can also do a locale such as a lake or a mountain or whatever it may be that's um, well known in the area, but we are not doing individual names. Again, there's um, 12 piece minimum and minimum of four per size on every order. Okay. So now we have a brand new art pool collection called Voices for the Earth. Okay, so it wouldn't be um, a new season without new polls from Stephanie Burgess. So um, a shout out to Michelle Swearingen, who's our um, RM from um, the Midwest um, region. And she challenged us back at the um, national sales training meeting to come up with kind of a, a new focus on polls, something that could be rallied around, um, similar to what 
you know, the lyric polls were with the um, lyrics from Lennon and McCartney. So we did some brainstorming on that and came up with, um, you know, what about quotes um, that were, you know, inspired by some of um, the greatest advocates out there um, for nature. We thought that was a perfect fit for the poles that live outdoors and, and um, celebrate the outdoors. So we came out um, with um, three large poles, a 60 inch and two 40 inch um, poles, and then three 20 inch poles to form our Voices of the Earth collection. So you can see these individual polls on the upcoming um, pages, but I just wanted to share, and we're going to send this information out to you so you'll have it for um, your notebooks. But um, each one of these polls, as I mentioned, was um, um, based off of a famous quote by a, um, an advocate um, for nature. So the first is a Gaelic um, blessing, and certainly, um, Gaelic and Irish blessings um, many times are, are rooted in um, religious sayings, um, but they don't necessarily, you know, um, um, they don't necessarily need to have or, or must have kind of that um, uh, religious person to, to be, you know, perfectly suited for it. They were really the way that the Irish had of expressing their desire um, for a better future, for solidarity, for friendship, um, to celebrate their family and celebrate their neighbors. Um, so this um, quote is actually from a um, beautiful song that we're gonna send um, a, um, a link to that um, celebrates these words. Um, George um, Santaniana, which is um, the um, Nick's call, um, it was an inspirational um, quote. He was one of the um, first Hispanic American um, philosophers who really um, chose to, you know, philosophize and embrace the earth and how important it was and how important music um, was that was, um, you know, created to celebrate the earth. He's definitely a, a big figure within the classical American um, philosophy world. Um, and when you Google that quote, his name will pop right up. Um, the next I know you're all familiar with, with the Dalai Lama, what I wasn't familiar with is there's actually been 14 different Dalai Lamas. Um, so this Dalai Lama, his name is actually uh, Tenzin Yatso. Um, and he um, was certainly quoted as saying, be gentle um, with the earth. Of course, the Dalai Lama is um, the religious and, and spiritual leader of uh, Tibet and one of the most influential people um, around the uh, world celebrating the earth. Um, the next three, the 20 inch, um, were all based on, um, again, philosophers and authors. Um, John Muir was known as John of the Mountains. He was, uh, he's also actually known as Father of the Parks. There's a lot of his quotes that you'll find in national parks today. He was one of the first um, of the early advocates to um, help celebrate the preservation of uh, the wilderness. Um, Kate Chopin um, was uh, actually, she was an author of short stories and poems back in the 1800s. She was really a woman before her time. She was one of the first feminists um, out there and actually got in a little bit of trouble for her um, book that she wrote called The Awakening, which was, um, you know, had to do with the sexual res revolution out there. And um, she was uh, she was a lover of the oceans and the earth in general, and um, this is a quote from one of her poems. And then Lucy Larcombe um, was an American teacher. She was a poet um, and an author, also in the 1800s. Um, and this is a quote from a very famous poem of hers um, that um, lends itself to nature. Again, you'll see many of her quotes um, around in parks today. Okay, and then you're on the lines of, oh, sorry, Gretchen. Oh, no, go ahead. Lines of um, really making sure that we give merchandising tools um, to all of the retailers. We've created special signage for this collection. So we envision these all being kind of merchandised together. Um, you could also merchandise in additional um, pulls from like the Peace Collection. Um, there's numerous others that speak to 
um, peace and spreading peace um, throughout um, the earth. Um, so we, we have the big 24 inch diameter um, peace sign um, that can hang um, and then we also, um, or can be um, put against a wall, or the small voices for the earth sign that comes with the little suction cups, so that can hang on some of the larger poles or actually hang on the wall as well. Okay, so then we don't want to forget where we came from. Let's not forget the basics. You know, our, our core is despite everything that we've seen and all of the what's new and how well it's all selling core is still our biggest selling category so yes we just came off of early buy but a lot of customers don't do early buy and some of the customers that normally buy on early buy said i'll wait until the shows so remember that we have all of the new 70 new flyer collections you know um seven new garden collections with the art poles and planters and as tammy said that terracotta certainly can mix in and become a collection with any of the fall designs we have six new coastal designs 27 new door decor and remember door decor our biggest selling time and the biggest decorating of your door is from fall through christmas so we have quite a lot of designs um, and door decor for that and then we had the new um, monogram design. So one of the things that we are, um, we think is very important is that we always want customers to have a place to merchandise their product so it sells through. We believe in merchandising and one of, this is, um, we have a brand new merchandising display for flags and yard design stands. We have that, um, Mary Lake Thompson program, while this is not a program that includes the hardware and either the yard designs and flags, it is a new planter display that your customers can receive either at no charge with a $300 purchase or it's a $45 cost. This is an absolute great opportunity it's a generic planter, so it looks like concrete with the Studio M logo. So it's branding your collection of flags within your retailers. Um, and it's an opportunity where maybe you have some of the larger displays in a garden center all, already, and you want to highlight as we come into this real seasonal designs of fall and Halloween, and then move it over into Christmas designs or it may be it's a smaller retailer that doesn't have room for one of the larger displays. This is an opportunity to open up, you know, core into some of those other types of customers. Just keep in mind the same as with the Mary Lake Thompson, the display is free with a $300 purchase, but the customer does pay the freight. So with the 18 inch planter and insert, um, that freight can be a little bit costly but it's something that can be used again and again and amortized over um, many seasons and years. And again, think of this display as this is a great way for your existing customers who have maybe a large fixture or are doing a, a large presentation of um, flags and or yard design signs to pull out and feature, you know, maybe it's, um, you know, they're featuring all Halloween on it or all Thanksgiving on it or maybe all Christmas on it um, in a secondary location. So they're pulling it up by the register and using it as kind of a last minute pick me up. Mm -hmm. Or it might be a store that you're, um, you know, who is just wanting to have um, a small selection of flags but want some very specific ones. Maybe they're leaning into the um, lyric um, uh, Lennon and McCartney flags and so they just want to create a collection of special flags there or they want to create a special collection of memorial flags and want a fixture to um, use to kind of highlight those or monogram flags. This has so many opportunities to help pull out and highlight and be a secondary fixture for some stores or to be the primary fixture as a way to get the category into smaller stores. Does it just come in ones? It does just come in ones. So onesie, okay. But you yep. Certainly with a $600 purchase, we can put it in twos. 
Okay, perfect. Yep. It is, it is a display. It's a display fixture. It is not an art planter that it, because it is the branded concrete look studio M. Planter. Thank you. I love having that. Perfect. It's going to come with the insert inside of it. Inside. Not the hardware, but the insert. Yep. So here we come down to the nitty gritty, the important information, because now I know you're ready to put, get out and sell all of this great new product. Samples you as I have as the end of May. I, um, you should have all of your samples now with the exception of the misters and the mini heart note bell. Um, as Tammy mentioned earlier in the presentation, if you have any additional samples that you're needing to update, please get um, that information to Maureen Bushman this week so that she can add it and ship it with um, those two additional samples and the catalogs. Catalogs are shipping to you the um, week of June 17th. Mm -hmm. And um, one note that I don't have on here, I said to customers too, is they're actually going to the um, mailing house on that date to be mailed to customers. So those will likely be at customers the following week, which I think is the 24th, is that correct? Yes, the and, week of the 24th. Yeah, so we already have a PDF of the catalog, um, which Linda, I'm not sure if you've shared with the TMs or not. PDF link, but it will be um, all SKU information is loaded into Eman. It will be on the iPads the end of this week. And remember that the price increase goes into effect on June 15th. Show Can special, I, yes. I was just going to jump in. Yes, Friday afternoon, I did send out a like a pre prep call. So the, okay. the link is on there. I know it was late Friday, so just in case people want to. Okay. Okay, so then the show special starts on June 17th, which is a week from today, and goes till August 5th, so it's right at the start of the Dallas show and goes until just after the Vegas show, um, is a $75 freight credit on an order of $1,500 or more and $150 freight credit on an order of $2,500 or more and net 60 days dating at $2,500. Just um, a reminder that's with approved credit. So if you have a credit card customer that wants to take advantage of the dating, you do need to submit credit references. It includes all product categories, but does not include clearance. And the orders must ship by September 30th. So, the, and that's for one order per customer. Um, Gretchen, yes. can we do at once ship and then as things follow? Or yes. Okay. Yes. And the same as we did in January, um, that's a very good point, Linda, is that we want to make sure that um, that there's at least a hundred dollars on there to retain the back order. So if there if the order has product on there that's shipping mid August, it needs to be a hundred dollars or more. I would say with everything that we have that's new, most likely that won't be a problem, but just want to um, put that out there to keep is, it. Out. Is there a way that if it, I mean, does customer service reach out to a TM to ask the customer? I've been out in the field quite a bit this first um, five mm -hmm. months. And I've heard that a few times just about, like, I wish I was called, it was canceled. Um, I'd love to get it back in. Is there any kind of, is that a possibility? No, it's outside well, it, the realm of the this thing call. That, Anything that's new, marked new in the catalog, if it's an at once ship, it will back order. Okay. So, I mean, that's an easy rule of thumb. And, um, you know, saying this, then this is true of any time. If, if somebody had put the bird bells, bird song bells on an order, since we've been out of stock, if it wasn't a hundred dollar back order, the order cancels. Okay. It's really hard, um, Linda, for customer service to try to um, watch that. Um, well, you know, many times the shoppers um, may catch it and pull it back, but now with our new NetSuite system, um, you know, we're the the orders go straight from in the system 
and they commit five days ahead of the ship date and they're going directly to the back. So customer service isn't really handling those orders. Not, to catch not those touching things. it as often as, the, okay, right. got it. Right. Okay, thank you for explaining that. Yeah, and yeah. that's, you know, that's one of the, you know, good news, bad news. Good news is we turn orders around quickly. Bad news is sometimes some of that, what used to be able to do with some detail, um, hands-on work has gone away. Okay. Like that. Um, Thank you. Quick recap here, because we've seen a lot of um, new information, a lot of product. Um, all new collections are shipping mid-August, with the exception of the domestically produced. So if it's produced at Studio M, the poles, the planters, um, the get buzzed flags and mats, that will ship the end of July. Um, price changes on bird, bird bells, heart note bells, the big bells, the wings of whimsy figurines and ornaments. So those price changes are noted in this presentation in red. And the catalog, of course, will have the new pricing. Garden Humor had new items um, as well as a brand new collection. The new items were the wine glasses, the um, water bottles, and the plant misters. And then Get Buzz, that's a collection you really want to get on um, fast with your customers. Wings of Whimsy, we had new, um, new designs in the ornaments, new designs in the 8-inch greens. And we have that new pet angel collection, which customers are already telling us they love. <laughs> and then in our, you know, wildly, wildly popular bird song collection, we have the new ornaments, the decorative figurines, plant pokes, heart notes. We have the new mini bells and new um, ornament size bell as well as we have some new um, sentiment bells or occasion bells. Field guide, we have the new wildflower collection as well as um, the tote bag and the um, sticky notes and the sticky um, plant weekly planners uh, for the birds and the butterflies. Um, tote bag is only birds. And then um, with wall hangings, and I'll jump into six inch art planters because I, I mean, art pots because I don't have those here. Um, 24 new designs in each, 12 new monogram ornament designs, a couple um, brand new Stephanie Burgess collections, Voices for the Earth, which I think is going to be huge at our shows. Huge, absolutely huge. Um, and then we have a couple new um, planter set and um, the new pole. And then we have the new planter display. Again, that, that is free with a $300 order. It ships with the planter and the display insert. And we talked about samples, catalogs, show special. Remember if, and we're not done yet, so don't run away yet. Um, so it takes all of us to meet our goal so i'll be working alongside of you tammy will as well you know at the shows we really want to get the word out you know tell us what you need if you need a little something extra to get your foot in the door because there certainly is a lot of door opener product here for some new customers and ways to expand um studio on presence in a lot of your existing customers so, but wait, there's one more thing I want to talk about. So we had early buy with, um, certainly we had an incentive program going on and the incentive was predicated on um, us, one post as a whole meeting a baseline goal. And unfortunately we were a little bit shy of that goal, but we had some superstars. And while we're not giving away $100 bills, we are going to recognize our early buy superstars with a $50 gift card. And we're very pleased to do that. You know, you all worked hard. You had, we have some really notable superstars on this list with some sizable increases. And, um, you know, this is a short list for this go around, but as we move into, um, fall and start thinking about, I can hardly believe I'm saying this, but spring 2020, <laughs> early buy, you know, we want to double and triple this list of early buy superstars. 
So yeah. thank you to everybody for all of your efforts in early buy and Congratulations, especially to Colleen and Becky and Sharon and Kim for exceeding their goals. Uh, we'll get your gift cards out to you. I know you guys were just hustling like crazy. So um, we appreciate everybody's um, efforts, but certainly wanted uh, to make sure that, uh, you know, those um, that exceeded their goal didn't go unnoticed um, because we certainly did notice and we certainly appreciate it. Well, thank you for that. Thank, thank you for doing thank you for that. that. Thank you. Okay. And there we go. That's it? That is it. <laughs> Back over to you. Any questions, everybody? Yeah, this is Hello. Hi, yeah. Hi, Gretchen. This is Colleen. I love the collection. Beautiful. Um, what I wanted to ask was, do you know when the map mates, the displays are coming in? Karen, do you want to talk? You know those dates better than I do. Yeah, that's a good question. Thank you for bringing that up. We should have mentioned it. Um, we have every um, thing. Um, Gretchen, I think, was putting a notice out in the bulletin, um, but the um, mat mate displays and the um, two um, large flag displays We'll be shipping um, starting this, um, the week of, this week actually. The um, displays that have the waterfall metal fixture in front of it, that's the yard design only display, the flag, uh, garden flag only display, and then the mail wrap garden flag and mail wrap yard design mm -hmm. combo displays. That uses a special waterfall piece that goes in the front of it. Um, and we're still waiting. Um, those were thought to be undamaged in the fire and they're a special order, special make. And unfortunately, when they went to attach them, they were damaged um, in the fire. They were warped. Um, so we had to um, uh, have them reorder um, them. So those will be towards the end of the month. But Gretchen will recap um, all of that out to you. We should start um, seeing displays being released this week. Um, so we're focusing on those that we have on back order first and getting those um, out. So I think it will be the end of the month before we're really up to full speed um, with the fixtures. But by the time July 1st rolls around, we should be um, not seeing any interruptions um, onto those fixtures. All right, thank, thank you. Thanks for asking that question. Comments? From the field, I know a lot of people are on mute. You're happy to jump off quickly to ask a question or any comments? Looks great. <laughs> I hope um, Love you know, it. <laughs> many of the things that we did were all based on feedback from, you know, all of you out in the field, from, you know, the voices from the earth to displays to you know, various different themes or scan and go packages or those type of things. So we really value your input and um, certainly want to do everything we can to, um, you know, help you um, help your make it easier for your retailers. Um, so please let us know if you, you know, have any feedback or suggestions. Um, we certainly want to be all ears in partnering with you. Well, I want to mention one thing. Um, thank you for the, I don't get samples, but thank you for the generous samples. Um, as again, I'm just going to mention being out with so many TMs this year in 2019. Those samples, you know, price those samples. I know you have them. Price them. Make sure you mark your page numbers when those catalogs are out. And I know we have the link. Um, it's so important to get those samples in front of the customer. Any new piece type, the new wine glass, the mister, the water bottles, just reset your tote bags um, to make sure you have all of those in there because what's going to happen, you're going to extend this collection, those collections into existing customers, but it's going to bring a whole new set of customers on board that may not have purchased Plant Lady, Bird Nerd, um, Garden Dirt before. And then you've expanded the best of the best with Wings of Whimsy um, and that bird song. So I'm really excited to see um, the presence grow in existing retailers and then bringing on those new retailers. So go for it. <laughs> I'll open in those doors. <laughs> go for it. Anybody else? 
Hey, Linda, it's Avis. Hi, Avis. On your, hi, on your email on Friday, the two links for Studio M don't work. It mm. says there's nothing available. I, uh, when you sent those out, I can resend those to you. Could you re? I okay. may have sent those, Gretchen, before that follow up email. Okay. Would you mind sharing that? And I'll share it with the team. Yep, I'll resend that. Right after our call. Thank you, Avis, for mentioning that. I appreciate it. Didn't, um, didn't Catherine send it also? Yeah, Catherine sent it also. Hers work. Yeah, Catherine sent it. Okay. Did I use that one. The presentation as well? Yeah, the PPT no. didn't work either. But did Catherine resend that or just? I'll just no. resend it to you, Linda. If you mind, res yeah, the, I'll double check. Yeah, easy enough. I can do it. Take okay. Catherine just did, did the catalog. Okay, thank you. Yeah, that was what I used to sticker. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you, everybody. All right, thank, thank you. you. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Tammy and Gretchen. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, everybody, we're going to move on to um, our next, let's see who's on board. Very exciting today. Um, we're going to get our uh, product um, introductions from Cause, Michelle McDowell, and Mary Square. Um, let me do a quick new share here, make sure I'm sharing the right thing. And do we know if they, um, let's see. I'll text uh, Chelsea. We're here. We're here. Here. Hi. Oh, hi. Hi. <laughs> and Chris is here too. Are you on one screen and then Krista is on another screen. Okay, so I am gonna stop sharing again um, and then let you guys jump on. There you are. Hi. Hey, hey West Coast. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we will do a brief introduction and then we will ro roll right into our presentations. Okay. Um, but we're going to start with um, Cause and then Michelle McDowell and then Mary Square. So I am Chelsea Dale, Director of Business Development. This is Michelle Cable. She is designer and creator of Michelle McDowell, McDowell Designs. That's a mouthful. And then um, Katie Hampton, our sales hey. manager from Mary Square. And if you find Krista below, she's our sales manager for Cause and Michelle McDowell. Weird. All right, ladies, we ready to get started? Yes. All right. Okay, I'm going to start with cause. Um, I'm sorry if there's a little bit of background noise. I'm actually at the beach. I'm on vacation. And so I had to come outside to do this because if it was inside, you would hear nothing but a bunch of kids screaming. So um, <laughs> hopefully you guys can hear me okay. So I'm going to share the cause PowerPoint and we will get started. So I know... <clears throat> Sorry, so I know we did a product training video for you guys. If you haven't watched it, um, please make sure you watch it because I'm not going to go too much into product training. I'm just kind of going to give you an overall view of Cause, the brand, where it came from, why you should sell Cause, and then um, just talk a little bit about everything. We are going to do a giveaway at the end, so make sure you pay attention um, so you can get that. $25 Starbucks gift card, and then we'll do a question and answer at the end. So Cause was started by um, the CEO of Mary Square, Kelly Shiley. She was actually running in the mountains of Colorado, and she was just asking God what she could do to move the needle faster. She wanted to do something that made a difference in the world, but was also a useful product. And as you all know, hydration is a category that sells extremely well and sells everywhere. It's a proven category. It's a phenomenal seller. So she was like, I don't want to just start another drinkware company. That market is kind of saturated. So why don't I start a drinkware company that does something good for the world? So she developed Cause. Um, and all of this took place in like December of this past year. And so we had the ideas. We got everything. We got all the samples and got it rolling. And we released it um, for uh, January market was... Um, the first time that the product was released. So a lot of retailers are just now getting the product in the stores. The first ship date was 315 and 515 was the second ship date. So a lot of the stores are just um, seeing it. So there's so much room for growth with this line, which is really exciting for you guys. We actually haven't had any uh, representation on the West Coast. So no one on the West Coast has seen it, which makes me really excited for you guys. Um, so what is cause I kind of talked to you guys about what it was so 
the best thing about Claude's is the give back. 25% of the profit goes back to the five different charities listed. Um, we started with four charities in January, but we added KYAL, which is a um, breast cancer um, foundation charity. So we added that to do a limited edition charity for October for breast cancer month. Um, but the other four charities we started with in January, and we've already given them donation checks and the feedback from them has been absolutely phenomenal. It's really exciting to see like Red Rover post us on their social media and Samaritan's Burst actually called this week because they got another check and we're trying to plan something with them. So the um, charities are really on board, which makes it even more exciting. So uh, why cause? Why would you buy cause over another drinkware line on the market. Well, obviously 25% of the profit goes back to charity, which who doesn't want to buy something that makes them feel good and makes them feel like they're doing something good for the world. So only charity based drinkware line in the gift industry. So there's no other drinkware line that gives back, which is awesome. Um, the price point is phenomenal. Um, it's really easy to sell. It's industry leading technology. Uh, something that you guys can use that differentiates us from other brands is we are one of the only stainless steel drinkware lines in the industry that is dishwasher safe. We use a special coating on our um, stainless steel so it doesn't chip or crack. A lot of the other brands have issues with chipping and they're not uh, dishwasher safe. So that is a huge selling point to make sure you use. And then it's a lower wholesale price than most competitors, which again, it's a 25% give back plus lower price point plus dishwasher safe, like why, why wouldn't you buy cause? Uh, this just talks a little bit about the technology. Um, it, industry leading temperature technology, it's double walled vacuum insulated. It's got a silicone bottom on the bottom so that it doesn't slip. It's got a sweat free finish. It's a professional grade stainless steel. And then it has a branded logo. So on the um, cups that have a, a logo where the slider is, it actually says cause, which is really cool. And then um, I kind of show you here if you can see, I don't know if you can see. So you can see the cause is etched into the actual product. And instead of an E in the cause, it's replaced with a symbol. And whatever symbol that is, is what charity is being supported. So this one is clean water. You can see all the charities at the bottom of each slide. So if it's human trafficking, it's going to have an X instead of the water drop. If it's crisis and disaster relief, it's going to have a little house. So they can go around and show that the cause they're supporting is whatever cause is shown here. So mine is clean water. Um, so these are the four piece types we started with in January. Um, they were all phenomenal sellers, so we brought them back for July. I have the bottle with me. It's 17 ounces. One of my favorite things about the bottle is we actually do a wider mouth so you don't have to like shove ice down in there. If you've seen some of the bottles before, the mouth is really little so it's yes. hard to get ice. Um, that's one of my favorite things about the bottle. But um, the wine tumbler is 12 ounces. The small tumbler is also 12 ounces. And then the large tumbler is 24 ounces. Um, the small and large tumbler both have a locking lid. The wine tumbler just has an opening um, it doesn't have a, an interlocking lid. And then the prices are below each piece type. And then these are the new pieces that we have introduced for um, this market. So one of my favorite, favorite, favorite things, like I cannot attest to it enough, the can cooler. We took the can cooler and took it to another level. So you can put a normal can in there, but it also comes with a regular lid. So when you're done drinking like a LaCroix or whatever, beer you can actually unscrew that black piece and it has another lid that goes down into the can cooler part and it just becomes a regular cup so it comes with two lids that was not called out in the catalog because the designers didn't realize that so make sure when you guys um, are talking to your stores that you call that out because that was not specifically called out in the catalog well we have a sample of that when we get samples, yes. Okay. Um, they're not to us yet, but as soon as we get um, samples to distribute, absolutely. Okay, um, perfect. The coffee tumbler with handle is basically this last coffee tumbler you just saw, but we added a handle to it because it makes it a lot easier to hold. It still fits in the cup holders. So the coffee tumbler with handle 
the can cooler, and then the bottle, small tumbler, and large tumbler all fit in cup holders. Um, and then the small drink tumbler is basically um, the, the larger wine tumbler just shrunken down. Like I always say, think like champagne flute meets wine glass. We didn't want to do a champagne flute because they're all over the marketplace and we wanted something different. So this is just more of a feminine style wine glass. It's a little more narrow than the traditional wine glass. Um, most of us like the bigger one because you want more wine. Why do you want to have to refill it right away? But it is a little bit more of a sleek design, which is nice. Um, so these are the colors and patterns. The uh, top two rows that you see here are the colors and patterns we had in January. And we released five new um, colors and patterns for um, summer market. So black and red were huge requests for game day and for um, just some more gender neutral colors for fall. So those are the two new colors. And then we added three new patterns. Blush Leopard is my favorite. It's a blush background similar to what I have here. Chelsea's actually gonna show the Blush Leopard um, if she's on still. I'm showing it. <laughs> Oh, I can't see you, but I guess everyone else can. I don't know where you went. <laughs> um, so the blush leopard is um, like a blush background and it's actual gold foil. The blush leopard and the teal marble are the only two I don't recommend dishwashing because they are actual gold foil on the piece types. Um, the other ones are good to be dishwashered. Um, the pretty in paint is literally like the most popular colors in the line thrown on a cup and we, the pattern turned out awesome. And then black camo, camo is trending like crazy for fall. Yes. It's all over runway. So we kind of took that design element of runway and added it to um, the drinkware, which we're really excited about. So every color comes in every piece type and every cause. The only um, kind of confusing thing is the teal marble only comes in the large and the small tumbler because of the way the gold bends, we couldn't put it on any piece that bend. That. So um, the teal marble is the only one that comes in just the large and the small tumbler. Everything else comes in every piece type and every color and every cause. Um, the wrap, so each um, individual piece of drinkware will have a visual wrap on it. This is just a snippet of the wrap. So it shows them exactly what cause they're supporting. So this one is clean water. So you see it has a water drop at the top here. And then it says 25% of the profit is donated to provide clean drinking water. So if it was pet rescue, it would have a paw print here and it would say 25% of the profit is donated to pet rescue and adoption. So it shows them what charity they're supporting. It tells them a little bit about cause and then, um, tells them the technology, this is the can cooler, so it holds a standard can. Um, if it was the bottle, it would say hold 17 ounces. So it tells them a little bit about what they're buying, but it's an awesome marketing and sell point because it's on the actual piece of drinkware. So if they pick it up, they automatically see 25% is going back. They're like, oh, you don't have to stand there and tell the story. Um, so the best way to sell cause, we have found hands down the number one best way to sell the line is with the display that we'll get to in a second. Um, the tough thing about a new drinkware line is it doesn't necessarily have the name behind it like some of the other big box um, drinkwares do. So the cool thing about this is the display tells the story. It literally, when you guys see it in person, it stops you in your tracks you see the, the imaging on the display and you're like, oh my gosh, what is that? And it makes you walk over and look at it and then you pick it up and you realize 25% of the profit goes back and it's a no brainer. Um, it's a give back. Everyone likes to feel like they're making a difference. And this is um, getting a huge push on social media, which is really exciting. We're getting a lot of interaction. A lot of the charities are starting to promote it. So it's about to take off, which is really exciting. Um, so these are the different displays. Um, the colors of the cups are not accurate because this was just a rendering done by the display company, but you can kind of see. So the far left is the multi-cause display. Each shelf on the multi-cause display correlates with the image. So on the top of the multi-cause display, you'll see 
that it's the water and then it goes down to the crisis, um, ending human trafficking and pet rescue. Whereas the um, four other displays are just the single cause. So everything in there is relating back to the cause. And then we have a limited edition breast cancer display. So this is just a countertop display. Uh, it tells you exactly what is in the display. These will ship out at the end of August so that you guys will have them to, in the stores for September and then all of October, which is breast cancer awareness. But this is limited edition. Once it's gone, it's gone. So make sure you guys tell your stores about this and they get their orders in for this because this is limited edition. I mean, hospital gift shops are going to eat this up. So that's an easy in with them. So a little bit about the multi-cause display. I said earlier, each shelf is a different cause. It's double-sided. Um, it's actually like four-way sided. One of my favorite things about the display is you can't really tell here, but on the shelves, they make a U shape. So no matter where you are, you can literally see the product anywhere. It goes all the way around. And then you have the graphics on the right side. So it stops you in your tracks. It's 128 pieces, which is enough to fill the display twice. So you fill it once and then you have a, another round of back stock. Uh, it's $1,472 of product cost and the display costs $325, which the display literally costs us that. We're not making any money on the display. Um, but because there's a give back associated with it, there's no offset for the display with this line, which brings the total cost to $1,797. I know that sounds like a lot, but if you guys knew how many displays we sold in January market, that, I mean, it, that was the number one seller. Like we could not keep the multi-cause display in stock. People were buying it left and right. Um, it actually takes up less than four square feet of space. So it's a two by two width. So people that are going to say, well, I don't have room for a display. It's a really small width wise display, but it's a really powerful impact. So I know it's sometimes hard to get big displays in stores, but the impact of the sell through is so much more powerful than if they just put this product up on a shelf and it might get lost versus the display really sells the product. And the nice thing about the multi-cause display is it's a wider customer base. It's something for everyone versus the single causes are great if they're specifically supporting a certain charity. But this, um, the multi-cause allows all four charities to be supported versus I might care more about pets and you might care more about uh, ending human trafficking. So it allows all four charities to be supported. Um, the single cause display is a little bit lower in cost because it only comes with 64 pieces. So it only fills the display one time. There is no back stock. Um, they come in twos. So you get all of the colors, not none of the displays come with patterns. They only come in the, the solid colors. So a lot of people have been buying the single cause display and adding on patterns or vice versa with the multi cause. Um, but you do get all the colors represented in the display. It's the same size as the multi-cause display. It's just a more specific customer base. So when you think about the pet, I mean, anyone that has an animal that goes to a vet, like that is an easy sell. Any veterinarian hospital, this would be awesome. Animal shelters, um, that perfectly aligns with this mission. So the single cause display, you just need to think more who aligns with this mission. Crisis and disaster areas of California that have wildfires, that is gonna be a more powerful sell than let's say the water cause. So it's just, when you think about where this display is gonna sell, you have to think more specific um, area. Um, speaking of which type of stores would sell this line, anyone that cares about making a different difference, give back is so on trend right now. If you, you hear all the celebrities talking about the different charities they're supporting in the give back. So, everyone loves to feel like they're doing something good for the world. So that's the biggest thing that makes this line stand out. And then this line really sells in any type of store. It just, you have to align the cause with the store, whatever you sell to the store, just make sure their mission um, aligns with it. Um, and then these can easily be monogrammed if you're in an area that does monogramming. Mine, it's kind of hard to see, but mine actually has my initials on it. 
So the whole bottle is blank minus the little cause symbol at the bottom. So you can easily put stickers on these. People could brand their logo on them if they wanted to do that. But I have my monogram just on my bottle. Um, so show specials and rep spiff. This is show and road specials. These go through 815. Um, it's a 10% freight cap. So if they buy the display and the product, there's a freight cap at 10%. And then the rep spiff, let's be real. We all love money. We all care about money. So this is just, an extra, <laughs> we're all in sales here. <laughs> this is just something extra to incentivize you guys. Um, so for every display you sell, no matter what kind of display, you're going to get $10. And then whichever rep opens the most new accounts per day will get $25. So it's just another way to make some quick cash that your significant other doesn't have to know about that you can buy yourself something nice with after market. That's awesome. Thank you. And then, oh, um, this is just a slide kind of with some logistical stuff. Opening order is 350. Uh, reorder is 200. Mary Square, Michelle McDowell, and Cause all ship out of the same warehouse in Butner, North Carolina. It's right outside of Raleigh, North Carolina. And then this um, gives you my information. So I will be your point of contact for anything cause related. Um, if you have like questions on uh, damages or anything like that, you can copy me, but you'll send that kind of stuff to customer support but I'll be your main point of contact for if you have issues with an account or you need help building an order or you just have questions and want additional training. I am really big on building relationships. I actually um, was in real estate for my previous job. And so building relationships is super important to me. So I'm really excited um, to work with you guys. And that's my cell phone number. We are a text friendly company. So please, if you're ever in a store and you have a question, text me, call me, email me. I'm extremely laid back. Um, so you're, you can reach me however works best for you. Um, can, we, can we open it up for questions at this point? And then we'll do the giveaway at the end. Oh, okay, okay. Hey team, questions? I know a few are on you, but Certainly, I have a question. I have a question. Oh. Go ahead. Um, I want, uh, can you tell me what freight, you said 10% freight cap for um, the show special, but what in general do you think it would be? Um, it depends. Our freight is done on um, order total. So the, it depends on the amount. We can actually send out a freight chart to everyone so you know exactly if it's a, $500 order exactly what the freight percentage is. It goes down as the order amount goes up, but I'll send that um, out to the to Linda and she can blast it out to you guys. That'd be great. That'd be great. Thank you. Yeah, in the yeah. West, that's, that's always a big question in the West. The always, yeah. always, it'll be a question everybody will get for sure. <clears throat> so, On the displays, are, do they come flat or and you assemble them or... That is correct. Yes, they come okay. in a box. It's actually really fun to play hide and go seek in because I'm five seven and I could fit in the box. We <laughs> actually in our office like put them. We had it in the back room and we were jumping out, scaring everyone. It was hilarious. But they come flat um, with instructions on how to put them together. Okay. Now you have the option of single and multi. So when you do the multi. Are you then like picking a color per cause? Is that kind of the way you would fill it? So the dis so there's kind of two answers in one. The display, if you just want it easy to see, we've already pre-packed the display. The multi-cause display comes with all the different colors. It's just certain colors are affiliated with certain causes in the multi-cause display. But there is a scan for just the display if the store wants to build their display how they want. Um, we had a lot of people at the January market who bought the multi-cause display but only did the 64 pieces in it. They didn't do the um, display with back stock just so they could see how well it sold. Um, and if there's certain stores that want to do the multi-cause display but only want a certain color or whatever, you can scan the display individually and build 
the display from there or you can do the pre-pack that is already set. It's just easy. It comes with every color and all the causes. And that's all in the catalog. Okay, got it. So could someone pick two causes? Like can they get extra POP? Because it looks like the only difference would be the picture. Like if they just wanted to do two. Absolutely. We is can that... actually do um, a two-sided display where one cause is on the front and one cause is on the back of the display. You just have to scan um, the display and then note it in the notes that it needs to be a different on different cause on the back. Or they can just buy the water cause display and buy a shelf talker for human trafficking. Okay. Okay, so it's pretty flexible how they want to do it. Okay. Yeah, we try and we've tried to think of all the options. <laughs> um, we work, I, I actually do all the product development for cause. So if you guys are ever in the field and you hear things, um, I would love all the feedback. I'm actually going overseas to our manufacturer in August to work directly with um, the drink manufacturer. So any feedback or anything you hear in the field, please let me know because I'm already planning for January of 2020. It's crazy. Great. Hey, Krista, um, it, is, is this safe to say that last year in Vegas or January cause was not in the showrooms at the Vegas? Correct. It was nowhere in the West. Okay which is super exciting for you guys. Yeah, I was just gonna say, this is really, really fun to be able to um, go out um, with this in the field. I'm really anxious to get started. I'm sure everybody is. And to know that it's brand new and super easy to write, um, pulls on the heartstrings. So all the great things that we need in order to get this started. So, um, and then you mentioned the show special. Um, those are road and show or? Correct, it goes through 815. Okay. On the, um, I can't see the detail, but on the POP or on the display, does it list a percentage or does it just say supports this yes. cause? So it's, um, I don't know if you can see, but right here on the display on the second shelf on the single cause, um, it says there's powering your purchase and it, it tells the story of cause that 25% is going back. This one says it's going back to crisis and disaster relief um, on the multi cause. You can't see it here, but it's also that little text box um, and it tells the story. That's what I was saying that the display really stops um, people in their tracks. And it's nice because the store doesn't have to train their employees to tell the story, the display. I mean, you walk up to it and you see 25% goes back right there on the display and it's a, Game changer. Any other comments, you guys, from the field or questions? It's beautiful. Yeah, I love it. Awesome. Yeah. And one other thing I just wanted to mention, I think I said earlier that um, a lot of the stores are just getting this in because we had some ship dates in March and then some in May. Um, but the amount of reorders we've already gotten from the line has completely blown my mind. I thought it would do well, but like actually seeing how well it's doing uh, in stores. There's a store right outside where I live in Raleigh, North Carolina. Um, and she got her display May 15th and, and she had got the multi cause and she has sold over half of it in less than a month. Um, so people are really aligning with the mission. Um, so we've seen firsthand how great the sell through is, which is really exciting. You put all this work in, you hope it sells, but to actually <laughs> see it happen is really awesome. All right. Do you have any other questions before we do the giveaway? What's the giveaway? I'm excited to see. So, um, <laughs> we're gonna give away a $25 Starbucks gift card because we all need coffee these days and <laughs> not to be here. Um, so the first person to answer the question, um, what are the five different causes? I'll answer it. I, oh. Go for it. <laughs> um, right clean there. drinking water, stop human trafficking, pet rescue and adoption, crisis and disaster relief, and, and women's cancer. You go, girl. Um, I don't. 
I don't know who that was, but if you can um, <laughs> email me your, uh, your address, I will ship out your gift card this week. Okay, it's Vicki Rice. You go, Vicki. <laughs> Thank you. Way to go, Vicki. Just had to read it. <laughs> Um, okay, well, if you guys don't have any other questions, I think we will move to Michelle McDowell. You guys get to hear from me some more. <laughs> okay, let me um, stop sharing so I can get the other PowerPoint up. Um, so Michelle and I are going to kind of tag team this one for Michelle McDowell. Um, she's going to give you guys a little bit of history on the brand, her inspiration for the line when she got started, and then I will jump back in um, and talk about some sales stuff towards the end. We will have another giveaway with this one, another $25 Starbucks gift card, so be ready. <laughs> Michelle? Hey everyone, I'm Michelle. Um, it's so nice to meet y'all. I'm just excited to partner up with you. Um, I think it's just going to be a really great partnership. I'm excited for all the new changes and, and things with market to kick this off. So I kind of wanted to start out by giving you a little bit of background about how Michelle McDowell got started, where we came from, and what we kind of want to continue to do. So back in January 2015, I was a stay-at-home mom with two young kids. My children were, I think, two and three at the time. Um, I always loved fashion and home decor and design, but that wasn't my professional job. Um, and as a budget-minded mom of two who had not yet won the lottery, I really had to figure out ways to, you know, look my best um, while still keeping our budget in mind. So I, I decided to start a jewelry company out, out of my home. I went to my local craft store and I bought some materials and I started by making beaded bracelets by hand. Then I eventually created an Instagram account and Facebook and just used social media as a means to market my product. Eventually then I opened an Etsy shop, which was really successful. I gathered some retailers and the business kind of took off from there. So my main goal with um, the jewelry company was to create products that helped women to feel and look their best while still being very affordable. It's sort of a designer look without the designer price. And that's what we want to continue to do. So moving on into our catalog information. Um, each season, of course, my main focus is product development, but at the same time, I really want to lay out our catalog in such an organized way for you all to be able to sell it well and for our customers to understand the product and how to buy purposefully. So we create products and we categorize them into different collections each season. Um, typically, we have about seven to eight collections where we expand on our best-selling collections each season, and also we bring in new designs, um, of course, each season, and different fun collections as well. So the main thing for you all to know about our collections is our top-selling category is, and probably will continue to be, our essentials. These are our foundation pieces, and they should be um, on every order. And of course, I'm sure you're all aware of the acrylic trend. That's one of our other best-selling collections. So we expanded on that this season and will continue to. So now, I'm, that was just a little brief catalog information. So now I'm gonna go into each collection, but I really encourage you all to watch the YouTube video if you haven't seen it yet, because I, really, I go into greater detail and actually show pieces um, so if you haven't seen that, I encourage you to watch that. It's about 15 minutes long, so it's really good information. Um, so first, we're going to start off with our essentials collection. This is where I would suggest beginning every appointment with. These are your pieces that are your basic gold and silvers. They're your classic shapes, your hoops. They're pieces that every woman has in her wardrobe. 
Um, every store offers the golds and the silvers, their own <coughs> trim. They're the brush um, and matte finishes and their modern um, classic pieces that, like I said before, should be on every order. So that's the first collection in the catalog. Then um, as you flip through, you'll then find the very popular on trend acrylic collection. As I'm sure you're all aware, we are not the only jewelry company that offers acrylic jewelry, acrylic jewelry and um, because it's just such an on trend material in the market. So each season we come up with new patterns and designs and also offer like six to eight acrylic colors in coordinating piece types. So for example, as you can see this season, we have six main colors. We have the black and white tortoise, the pearl, charcoal, the emerald that has kind of an emerald green and navy mix, the blonde tortoise, and then also the classic dark tortoise. So if your store loves the pearl, for example, they can buy all the piece types in the pearl tortoise to create that story. Or if they like the summit earrings, for example, they can buy them in all six of the acrylic colors. So it's a, it's a good easy way for your stores to create stories um, in this collection. So then our next is our holiday collection. I really wanted to create a collection that not only sold well because of the designs, but also allows you all to get sales, boost sales during that really slow time of the fourth quarter when all the stores are just trying to get rid of all their, you know, extra inventory at the end of the year. Well, there's always going to be women who attend holiday parties that need that new piece of jewelry at the very last minute, or their husbands who go out the, to the store and try to find that, that gift at the very last minute. So this collection I think will really allow you all to, you know, make appointments for the end of November to ship this in stock now jewelry for the holiday season. Think New Year's Eve. This is this is a great um, collection that can really allow you to sell all the way until December 31st. So um, I just think it's a really fun collection there. So next you have the animal print. Um, as you all know, I'm sure you're aware, the leopard and cheetah, all the animal print are really popular for home design and apparel. So, of course, we wanted to incorporate it into jewelry as well. This season, we've added snake skin in the gray snake skin and also the tan. And we've added the metallic um, hide, which is a, we have a gold metallic option, and then we have a silver. So, I think this is really trendy for fall. Um, your boutique just love this look okay so the next collection is the natural this is where this is more of a bohemian vibe um i think fall this is such a pretty look for fall we've focused on earth tone colors like browns and ivories and greens and blacks so for this i think that you're really going to get good sales for fall um natural textures and textiles are trending in jewelry design so this collection really incorporates that very well okay the next um collection is chinoiserie this is distinguished by the ginger jar bead the blue and white ceramic bead it's really popular here um we've we've had this collection since the very beginning and customers just love this look it's really just a symbol of class and elegance so um it's a really popular look so we keep adding new piece types to this collection um as you might be aware the chinoiserie motif is really popular in home decor so i said let's try it in jewelry and it was a hit so we're going to keep adding to this as long as it sells well for us and then the last collection is our statement collection. This is where you're gonna find the most bold, the most trendy, where the runway meets the everyday. Um, as you probably are aware, the statement earrings are one of the best selling piece types in jewelry design at the moment. So you'll find a lot of pretty fun pieces here. Um, so that kind of ends our collections, but what I wanna go back and kind of restate that the catalog is laid out from beginning to end, meaning from the most basic to the most bold. So 
it kind of reads like a book. So when you're at your appointment, I would start at the beginning. I would start with your essentials and I would work your way to the statement. Um, it's kind of like building a house. You're going to build your foundation with your essentials collection. You're going to add your rooms. You're going to add your, you know, plumbing with the middle things. And then you'll, you'll add some decor with the end. So just think of it that way. And I think you'll, you'll be in great shape with your appointment. Um, before we go on to the sales aspect of it, I want to open up for questions for the products, the designs, any questions you have specifically about products. Does anyone have anything? Any questions? You know, I know a lot of you are on mute, but anyone be happy to go, on, go ahead yeah. and go on mute. I'd like to know if you have displays as far as um, all of these items too, as well, and if they if they ship for free if you load them. We do have displays. Um, Krista's going to kind of touch base on that um, in her part, so I'm going to save that for her. But that's a great question. We had that earlier. We do offer branded displays, um, and we have some show specials that kind of work around the displays too. So I'll hold that for Krista. Thank you. Can you tell us about the materials? Yes, yeah, so um, all of our metal base is brass. Um, we do double plate all of our finishes. So, you know, there's, they have, it's costume jewelry, but it's really long lasting wear. Um, our finishes do not turn easily at all, unless, I mean, obviously if you go in the pool, you shouldn't do that, but we really recommend, you know, keeping it out of humidity and moisture, but, um, other than that, you know, our pieces last a really long time. A lot of us ladies in the office have had, you know, our gold earrings for two years and they're still wearable. They're, they're in great shape. So brass is our um, base metal, the electro plate, um, and then all of our ear, all of our metals are nickel and lead free. So they are hypoallergenic. We do get that question quite a bit. Are the posts on the earrings surgical steel or still the same? Yes, they are. Okay. Could you explain chinoiserie a little bit better? I've never heard that term before. Yes, it is. Um, it's based on the a Chinese motif. Um, it's just a symbol of kind of class and elegance. It was an ancient motif where the spice jars were adorned in this artistic kind of form. Um, it's distinguished by the like cobalt blue color and white. Um, it's just kind of made its way really heavily in the, in the Southeast region. Um, so we, we like to just kind of add a little touch of it. Um, I know a lot of home design companies, you know, use that for decorating and things like that. But basically, it's, if you know the ginger jars, it's that kind of Chinese motif theme. So um, it's just been a popular design. And I understand it might be a little selective to some of our customers, but um, here in the Southeast, like I said, it, it's been a really popular trend. Thank you. Mm -hmm. What is the range of price points on, for example, your earrings? So for wholesale, our earrings typically run from about five dollars to, I mean, some are thirteen, you know, up to thirteen, but average, I'd say, about between six and seven dollars. Um, the MSRP we do put in the catalog, so we typically say, you know, two point five or margins up to even eighty percent. So customers really get a high margin, especially on the earrings. All right, if there's no other questions, we can, um, we're going to do another question and answer at the end. Um, we will continue on, and then if there's any other questions, we'll take them at the end. Um, so this is just talking a little bit about why your store should carry Michelle Michelle. Michelle just kind of touched on the margins. Um, we recommend everyone at least sell everything at 2.5. We do require at least map pricing, but we do recommend at least getting 2.5 percent margins out of everything. Some of our earring stores, people will mark up four times. Uh, it really depends on the area that you're in. 
but we, um, our margins are absolutely phenomenal on a lot of these. Um, we try really hard to have designer pieces at affordable prices. So you feel like you're getting something way more expensive than you actually are paying. In instant wardrobe upgrade. I swear this Michelle McDowell jewelry like makes my life because I just throw on a, one of the Mary Square dresses I have on now and throw on a necklace with it and it completely elevates the look. So it makes you feel like a million bucks without spending the money. I was telling Michelle earlier, I packed for the beach and left all my jewelry sitting on my counter and had a miniature heart attack because I was like, what? what am I going to do? Like I, that, that's how I accessorize all my outfits. I mean, like I literally just bring plain dresses and then I dress them up with jewelry. And I found one pair of earrings in my car because I have literally, I think I have 10 pairs of these earrings for one of our Estonia gold with everything. So I was like, at least I have some earrings. Like I can, I can roll with this. Um, but we do have display options available that we'll get to in a minute. And something um, that I think sets the line apart from a lot of other jewelry lines is our reorder rate is like out of control amazing. We get reorders from stores weekly, bi-weekly, like it's, our stuff flies off the shelves. And I'm not just saying that because that's my job. I truly believe our stuff sells so well. The price point and quality really, really set this jewelry apart. And we had a store who opened for the first time in um, January market. They have two locations and they uh, ordered $8,000 of jewelry. And since, Jan since the January market, they've ordered over $40,000 of jewelry and they have two locations. Like it, that they, it's the only jewelry line they carry now because it does so well. We have such a variety that it reaches so many different um, people. Um, so how to sell Michelle McDowell, think outside of the box when showing the line. Um, it doesn't have to be just boutiques. We have a home and garden store outside of Raleigh that sells our earrings out of control. They bought a display and they put it at the cash wrap and people that go in to buy soil end up buying a pair of earrings because it's just a great impulse buy. The price point is so good. Um, so coffee shops do really well. If you're going to sell some more of the statement, jewelry i would recommend selling that more into boutiques or like gift stores but the essentials the acrylics can sell that in any store all day long um as we said earlier start all your appointments with the essentials collections and build from there the essentials make any order easy it, it's gonna sell and so it's a safe place to start the pre-packs, so all of the different jewelry comes in pre-packs. The pre-packs are awesome because it drops the quantities from four to two. So if you just open stock a necklace, it's gonna, or an earring, I'm sorry, it's gonna come in four. But if you um, scan it in a pre-pack, it's gonna drop it to two, which is awesome because they don't have to go so deep in one skew. It gives them the ability to order a lot with not high quantities. The displays we're gonna show you in a second, um, they allow a clean organization of the line, which we make, which we found make the pieces sell better. So it, it, Michelle McDowell in general is a very clean line company. It's white and gold packaging, with navy. The displays are white and gold. We're very much a clean line, white, pretty um, company. We want it to just be clean to so the displays we found if you merchandise them on the displays and you don't mix it with a bunch of random jewelry on a wall, it sells way better. And then earrings by far are the number one seller in the line. We always say sell earrings, then necklaces, then bracelets. That's kind of how the sales um, have gone is earrings have been the number one seller, then necklaces, then bracelets. These are the displays. Michelle, do you want to talk a little bit about the different displays? Sure. So, um, on the left, you'll find the large necklace board display. Um, it's kind of an angled board and it has hooks on the back so that you can safely secure the necklaces so they don't slide down. Um, also, it allows you to, you know, differentiate the lengths of the necklaces to just kind of add interest to the display. Then in the middle here is the small necklace board for you know, the chain, chain necklaces, a little bit daintier necklaces there, and it also has adjustable hooks in the back. And then on the right, you will find the tall necklace T-bar for the larger, like, beaded necklaces and um, tassel necklaces. 
And then you have the double um, bracelet T-bar, which allows you to just, you know, put a lot of bracelets on there. Um, you can see on there also our acrylic key ring, which is a functional piece that we offer this fall. And then on the right is our um, earring display, which can hold 12 if you single them or 24 um, if you double those up. So show and road specials, again, these are gonna go through 815. So it's $750, you're gonna get free shipping and a branding block. The branding block is about this big. It's a clear acrylic block with Michelle McDowell kind of embossed inside of it. At $1,500, you're gonna get free shipping, a branding block and a 5% off. So that 5% off is gonna help offset any of the displays they wanna buy. Um, and then at $2,000, they're gonna get free shipping, a branding block and 10% off. We went back and forth between free shipping and doing displays and we felt like free shipping was more appealing to the masses. So the offset of the five and 10% will help if they decide to buy any of the displays. The displays all come in one, so they only have to buy one and the price point on them is really, really good. So it's most of the time a no brainer for stores. So more money, money, money for you guys. Um, so for every new account you open over a thousand dollars, you're gonna get five dollars per account. Um, the highest dollar total for the day is fifty dollars, and the most new accounts opened is fifty dollars. So again, it's just another way to put some extra change in your pocket um, this time of year. And then ship dates. So anything in the catalog that is not tabbed new will ship is immediately. It's all in stock, ready to go. And then anything tabbed new will ship August 1st. And then again, there's my information. An opening order is 350, an order is 150. Krista? Yes. With the at, with the at, um, at once ship and then the new ship 81, if somebody, I mean, will that be, if they qualify for the free freight? They'll get it both times. They'll get it both times. Okay, so push push for the at once and then um, new collections. Okay, great. And then I just wanted to say, again, another thing about the West Coast, we have had hardly, I think we've had representation for one go around, one season in the West. Um, so you guys have another, this is another line that you're gonna have a massive amount of potential with, which is really, really exciting for us. And I know it's exciting for you guys. There's been hardly any representation out there. So that's super exciting. Very, very exciting. Yes, thank you. And then we'll open it up for questions and then we'll do the giveaway at the end. Hi, this is Colleen. How soon does this ship within three to five days? Yes, so for all three lines, um, Katie will kind of attest to it a little bit more in the Mary Square presentation, but um, as long as you submit a valid credit card and the order, all the stuff is in stock, it's typically 48 to 72 hours for it to get out the door. Wow. First three orders on a new customer, is that right? It's credit card? First, First three orders is credit card and then they can apply for terms except hospital gift shops, resorts, and casinos. Those are all terms immediately. We do still require they fill out our credit application just so we have it on um, file, but they we automatically will push their order through. Okay. Any other questions, you guys? All right. Okay, let's do the giveaway. <laughs> oh. um, what did what did we say that you should start all appointments with? Which collection? The essential. The essential. Oh, I think <laughs> I saw 509. Who, or I think that was right. Colleen. There you go, Colleen. <laughs> awesome. So, um, yeah, we're really, really excited about working with you guys. I can't wait to meet you guys all at market. Um, but get on the road, and if you guys have any questions with it, please don't hesitate to reach out. Um, you can text me, call me, email me, whatever is most convenient for you. Uh, and we will um, get whatever you need taken care of. I just wanna do a quick pitch right now while we're on the call with everyone. Um, those videos were sent out, please, please, please. It's the 
kind of continuing education to this process of onboarding very quickly with Michelle McDowell and Cause. We really need to take ownership of, you know, learning, asking a lot of questions because we want to go out of the gates very quickly. Um, as soon as we get this on our iPad, our catalogs and our samples. Um, and we want to be the first to get our orders shipped out in the West. So um, let's, let's just go for it. Yeah, Michelle and I do a very good job with managing inventory and reorders, but this, I'm not going to lie to you and tell you this stuff does not sell out because it does. Mm -hmm. um, so we try really hard to manage expectations really well and manage inventory, but typically the third show, a lot of the stuff is oversold. So I completely agree with you. <laughs> Let's not wait. When, yeah. when, do we, when do we get our catalog? The catalogs are shipping, they are coming to us today and they're shipping out tomorrow, but we've sent a link so that you guys um, have a, a digital link right now, but the catalog should be to you within the next week. Thank you. And someone asked on the morning call about um, this being any in any big box retailers. We do not sell to any big box retailers with this line. Um, and we do allow online accounts. They just can't sell on Etsy or Amazon. So no third party. All right. Well, I'm going to let Katie and Chelsea take over now. Thank you guys so much for um, tuning in and please don't hesitate to reach out and you, the two of you that won the gift card, please email me or text me, whatever. All right. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks, Krista. Thank you. I don't know how to stop sharing, but my mouse is not working. Hold on. Where did it go? Okay, well, this is really, I don't have a mouse at the moment. Thanks, guys. Bye, Krista. Thank you. Bye, Krista. Thanks, Krista. All right, guys. Oh, yes, you're right. <laughs> um, ready for Mary Square, yes? Yes. And we just need to adjust this because I can't sit down. Yeah. So, all right. So, Katie Hampton is going to take the um, wheel here with Mary mm -hmm. Square. Mm -hmm. Let me get the presentation up. Hey, everyone. Welcome. Thanks for joining us. I know that um, I sent out my welcome email and I just absolutely love getting back the responses. The in excitement, enthusiasm was fantastic. I had like a hundred percent response rate from that email and that has like never happened with a record. So that is really impressive. Oh. All right. All right. I'm just going to share our agenda um, briefly. Um, I'm going to give you a little bit about our, um, how Mary Square got started, our brand story, our team, um, why your sh stores should sell Mary Square. Um, fall introductions for product and apparel, how to build a Mary Square order, um, and then we'll talk a little bit about the show and some reminders, and then also we love giving, doing giveaways when we do these type of training calls. So because Mary Square is longer, uh, and also we didn't have a video that um, you guys already viewed, we were, we're going to do two giveaways. So there's two opportunities to um, get a gift card. So, and then we'll have time for question and answer. All right, so Mary Square got started back in 2011. Kelly Shiley, the CEO of Mary Square, gave birth to her third child, Savannah, and she was suffering from postpartum depression. So what she did was she started, um, one of the ways that she um, wanted to encourage herself is she would write Bible verses and um, scripture verses and inspiration along little three by five index cards. And from that, an idea got started, wait, I can just make these and sell these. So she created, it was called a promise pack and it was a final square and it was a sticky decal, kind of like a fat head. And she, you could put it on any smooth surface. And from that, her company was born from one product. And I'm really excited to tell you that this year, that was one of my favorite products. I loved putting it um, on my desk as a teacher and um, putting it on my kids' lunch boxes and notebooks. We are actually bringing back, we've redesigned it, made it amazing, um, and we brought it back for this catalog release. So we're excited about that. Kelly chose the name Mary Square um, for a couple reasons. 
Mary being um, after her grandmother is a very special person to her. And then Square, where people come and gather. So that is how Mary Square started um, several years ago. So our, um, okay, our uh, Mary Square's mission is to empower women to live a life without regret. We also are a, um, a group of women that really support one another and encourage self-growth and self-love. And we also love to celebrate the gifts of every season and also love giving gifts. In addition, we want to inspire not only you all, but our customers, our team, to really live life and celebrate it and live it to its fullest. Also with um, providing, um, with helping promote and encourage uh, positive and changes around um, communities around the world. In addition, um, our mission to our customers. We love partnering with our customers along their journey, and we are here to help support them and grow their business and encourage them in doing that. But also, um, we pride ourselves on bringing the top of the notch level of customer service and the top quality product design and um, on-trend products for them in, their, in our partnership. So um, our, um, we also pride ourselves in very simple, chic, fun, um, fun, on-trend products and high-quality products. And also our target age is it's kind of really broad because we say that our target market is about 18 to 60, although um, we have things that appeal to people younger than 18 and then older than um, 60. I like to use my family. I've got a 12 year old. There's myself and then my mom in her 70s. We all, there are all similar piece types that we use and enjoy daily. Thank you. And I also, before I introduce, um, I do want to say that the amazing thing about Mary Square is we offer not only high quality products, but products that are proven piece types that we bring and offer to our stores and to your customers that are good in all types of stores, not just the gift boutique or the apparel boutique, but hospital gift shops, a wide variety, Hallmarks, Home and Garden. Um, so here's our team. I'm not gonna spend long on this. I know that you, we've all introduced ourselves, but I do wanna point out some really awesome people. Our customer service team, Bethany, Pam, and Stephanie, they are the ones, they're the faces and voices of Mary Square behind that. When you call or a customer and they are there to help get your situation or get whatever you need resolved quickly. And then we have our awesome um, accounting team, Cindy and April, and then the CEO of Mary Square, Kelly Shiley. All right, why should your care stores carry Mary Square? I like to rephrase this and say, why shouldn't your stores carry Mary Square? Kelsey, can you roll the next slide? Mary Square is a lifestyle brand that covers all your store's gift needs. I've already said that we fit in lots of different stores. We offer designer style at affordable price points. We also offer original hand-designed, um, hand-painted patterns and fun and unique fun sayings across our entire catalog. We also love to design in collections. We do this to help with the ease of merchandising for the retailer and for the end consumer to help the, with the cohesive look of merchandising products together. We offer high margins, great point, price points, an amazing sell through. All right, we are gonna get into the fun stuff, the catalog products. Um, now I know a lot of you um, have received your um, samples. If you haven't, they are on the way. I do know we, a couple of them got held up, but um, like I said in the last slide, Mary Square designs and collections. And our first collection I'm showing you right now is our floral collection. Kelsey, can I get the Monaco? Um, so we love florals and something fun and unique about ours is we like to hand design them. We have an in-house in North Carolina artist that hand designs and hand paints them on a canvas and then we transfer them over. So that is something unique that Mary Square brings to our design. The um, new pattern floral that we released is the Monaco. Um, this is absolutely stunning. It's beautiful. The colors are bright. They, um, painted flowers are just beyond beautiful. Um, in addition, we have um, our Lexington and Nantucket. Those are top selling piece um, florals. Um, in January, we released the Portland, which was actually my favorite piece type. 
And then the peach floral, this was our original pattern that we um, released years ago and we retired it, not because it didn't do well, but just because it was time to move on. And about a year ago, we brought it back and it's continued to be a top selling piece type in all the um, different piece types. Um, I think though this Monaco is going to give it a run for its money. It's beautiful. I do, while we're on this slide, want to show you, um, this is something in the Portland. This is a new piece type. You'll find it not only in um, the floral patterns, but other um, other uh, different patterns. But we call this all the things because it is a fun travel bag with two zippers that you can put all your things, whether it's makeup, hair products, work products. It's called all the things that so you can put all the things in there. So. All right, moving away from florals into our patterns. Um, we launched two new patterns um, to this collection. The Wisteria Waves, which is also a hand designed, hand painted. Um, I sometimes I like laugh at myself because I say hand painted and I actually have had customers say, you mean you hand paint each one? No, it was hand painted on um, canvas and then um, we use the print. So this is Wisteria Waves. It's gonna sit beautiful, not only with this collection, but it also picks up the same color so that this will retail really well with our floral collection. So for quarter three and four, Leopard, Michelle and um, Krista already talked about how hot animal print is. We've continued, um, we've added leopard print into um, several different categories in Mary Square. This is called Spot On. It is, I like to say, Mary Square's version of a leopard print. It's fun. The colors, I think, are gonna really appeal to our target market. And, um, it just a great pop of color and also these two retail really well together um, we like using the same kind of colors palette so they can blend and merchandise well together then we also have our green palm our pink frond and our tropical mix this is a fun resort collection for year round i mean for any trip that you're going to go on vacation by the pool um, and these are not only fun beautiful resort uh, looking collections but they're also functional pieces. The cooler, lunch tote, the carry-all bag, and drinkware. Before I came down to the office, I took this from my pool bag. I love, this is one of my favorite products. I'm gonna, you're gonna hear me say that a lot because I love all the things, Mary Square. But this is water resistant, so it's um, not only really cute, but very useful. Okay, there's Morgan Alley. She's our local North Carolina art artist that has helped bring a lot of these designs um, to Mary Square. All right, stainless steel drinkware. I think I've got the majority of them. Um, so you heard in cause all the wonderful things about Mary Square, or about cause stainless steel drinkware. Well, guess what? It is the same technology. Stainless steel is really hot um, and trending as in our market as a whole. Well, what Mary Square does, we offer the same technology the same high technology, but we actually um, add that powder coating so that way it is dishwasher safe. It's not going to chip or pick. It's going to help with the wear. And we also add the beautiful designs that are original to Mary Square. I'm very excited um, to add the, we added the um, new coffee tumbler with the handle. Uh, so I like, I know you guys just got off this call, but I love this because it will fit in the car holder. All of our piece types except that drink tumbler, which is the wine tumbler, will fit in your car holder. And they look great. If you've got stores that monogram, they'll look great monogram. Holiday, this is a new category to Mary Square this release. What we did is take all of our um, best-selling piece types and we brought it to this collection. From our beverage sleeves to our packaged wine glasses to wine bags and badge reels. And I'm going to just spend a minute talking about two of those piece types. The first one being our packaged wine glass. I don't actually have the wine glass in here, but it is um, packaged with an adorable little bow on top. So it is like already set to gift. You could definitely gift this without putting it in a bag. It's perfect for the last minute shoppers. And you'll find these gift packaged, when you see the word packaged wine glass underneath um, in the catalog, this is what the packaging is going to look like. It also it, um, helps getting it to the store, and also these look really cute merchandised on customer shelves. In addition, our 
packaged wine glasses are about the same price point of other wine glasses on the in, in the industry, but our price point um, is about the same, but we come packaged. Um, the other thing that we added to this collection, which we're really excited, we have lots of requests for this, is we do an amazing business with our badge reels. And Chelsea, did they get one of these in their samples? I believe so. So our badge reels um, are perfect for the businesswoman. I was a teacher, I loved these, I had one. And then nurses. So for the nurse, we've made it to where, this might not really mean anything to you right now, but it does have the 27 inch pool that hospitals require mm -hmm. and it can be wiped clean, it's not fabric. So we've added a holiday collection. And a lot of our nurses told us that the, that our badge reels um, are the only accessory that they can um, accessorize with their work uniform. Okay, our the next two um, next few slides are about our stationery. So Mary Square was ranked um, in the top ten in Gift Beat Magazine this year for stationery, number six, and actually West Coast number two. When they broke it down by territories, we were number two for our um, stationery in the West Coast. So in this collection, you will find our canvas journal, prayer journals, mag magnetic notepads, and then we'll talk about agendas. But I want to point out um, that my one of my favorite piece types is the canvas journal. You will not see me at market without one because the side zipper makes it very easy for me to put business cards and pens when I'm talking to customers. And then on the inside pocket is another little um, another little pocket that I can put my business cards. So I love this product. The prayer journal is new this year. And what it is is a journal with lots of different journaling pages, but the front has a scripture toolbox where there is verses on specific things, worry, concern, um, just things that you're going through, stress. And then there's also pages where you can journal your prayer requests, God's promises, your worry. And then the magnetic notepads, they are a great impulse buy, especially going into fourth quarter. They make great stocking stuffers. They also make great last minute pickup pick up gifts for teachers, nurses, and moms. All right. One of, oh, I'm going to say it again. One of my favorite, <laughs> one of my favorite products that Mary Square makes are our agendas. So we took our best selling agenda, um, and our best selling agenda is a, an academic agenda, which goes from January, I mean, from July 2019 to 2020. We do still have a decent amount of those for you um, to offer your customers for an immediate ship. But we've taken the, um, that concept and we've made a day planner. And I want to tell you, you guys, we did not have this. This just arrived while we were doing the last call. So I get to show, and it is beautiful. I get to show the new um, daily agenda. It is an extended version, but this one offers a, um, let me show you, this is so cool. It's like that ties in there. And also it's got prompted questions, but it's got a lot of journaling pages. Those for people that love to journal or people like myself that need a little bit of prompted questions, this is gonna help them really plan out their mind. It's really beautiful, I like this. And there's that um, leopard print again. All right. All right, gifts for our pet lover. We launched um, our pet collection about a year, to, year ago and it's done beyond phenomenal. Um, I mean, who doesn't love their pet? So we've added, um, again, proven piece types in this collection from the packaged wine glasses to t-shirts, sweatshirts, drinkware, and much more keychains. Um, a lot of stuff in this collection that uh, is useful product and will be enjoyed by that pet lover. And I do wanna say that it is trending over the last couple months we're seeing pet trend to be um, one of in one of our top selling categories. All right, born to be fabulous. I am. I think this is going to be my favorite collection, and it is a very large collection. We took all of our best selling pieces. We've added a lot of stuff to this collection, um, and into. I know that you've heard this now a couple times, but into third and fourth color third and fourth quarter, we really think that leopard is going to be trending. And also we've taken that beautiful blush color, add the gold foil leopard. So we know that this is gonna be a home run product. 
Also, the sayings make this um, collection stand out. Like, I love this one. It says, whatever, I'm still fabulous. I see this collection, um, I say this about a couple different collections, but I see this collection as being extremely giftable, girlfriend gifts. Um, but I also see this, like, someone going in to buy a gift, and they see one of these fabulous products, and they pick this up for themselves. So I know that this is going to be a home runner. All right. The business box selection collection so chelsea do you want to talk about this one i this is my absolute favorite product it, we've been trying to develop this for a while but it is a wallet that will hold all the cards gift cards cash whatever you card whatever you need all the everything you know in a regular wallet you have like the six slots and that's not enough. It's never enough. My wallet's always bulging. So I'm very excited about this one. And they're really pretty. They come in the prettiest colors and prints. Thank you. And in this collection, you'll not only find this, but you'll find all the things that um, for the hardworking girl. And we love the um, phrase girl boss. And this we consider this our business class girl boss selection. Proven piece type in this collection too. Just Saying. Just Saying was released in January 2019, and this was my favorite collection that we released in January. But don't hold me to that because I say that often. But this is a hilarious um, drink line that is perfect for gifts of all ages, and it's going to make you laugh out loud. And also, this, like our last um, collection, this is also a collection where um, someone could, could gift this easily but they're going to want to pick one up for themselves because they can relate to a quote so um the other beautiful thing about this collection is the simplicity of it um the uh the solid colors and the simplicity of the wording this is going to look great retelling and merchandising with all of our collections so you can it it will easily merchandise and retail together someone that may not want a floral but it looks, merch, it looks pretty merchandise with the floral. Um, this is a great collection. Yeah, it really is. That'll be yeah. sitting on my desk. Yes, yeah, this right here is, um, they asked me to pick one, because I was just like, I love them all. But I picked one, well, I actually picked two. Um, this is our favorite in the office, on the Complicated Order. And then I love, please cancel my subscription to your issues. And that's actually, both of those things are actually on our sweatshirt too, which we'll see in a minute. Okay, so our gift bags, this is another new category. So for years, we have handed out market totes that everybody comes to see us for, and they want our market totes. They don't even, they don't just want them at market, but they want to purchase them. So Kelly um, thought of, well, wouldn't it be great if we did start selling these and we make at their store a one-stop celebration shop where they can get a greeting card, they can get a bag, and we have taken that concept and put them into high quality little gift bags from extra small through extra large, perfect to make your gift extra special. I am obsessed with this. I use this one as my example because I love it. It's a little hand-painted cow by Morgan Alley. It says, happy birthday. This is a perfect size for our roots and wings, for a gift card. And then we go all the way up to extra large, which is perfect for all the things that you're going to purchase for. Okay, talking about greeting cards now. Greeting cards were, this is another new category released in January. And um, this category, this, the small display on the bottom um, was our number one scan in all of January market. It was definitely a home run. Not only um, are the quality, the sayings very original, the artwork's beautiful, um, but we are offering a free display with the greeting card free pack. So that's an $85 for the small one which I was just in a store about a week ago and she had it up at the cash wrap. It's perfect for a countertop or a table. And then the large one doesn't take up a lot of room and perfect next to shelving or right by that cash register. I just want to point out, I know you guys got a sample, but what I think is so fun and unique about our cards is we'll either bring the pattern to the back or something will, it's just not a back, a plain back, black, plain back of a card. So, I love our greeting cards and they're perfect for all stores. So back to staying with Mary Square Love to design and collections. The Someone Special Collection is huge. We offer celebration pieces for every moment from birthdays to teachers to nurses. There is something for everyone in this collection. And it's also the beautiful thing about this collection, it is a year-round collection. 
So nurse, nurses are really proud of what they do. They love getting things that um, have things that they can relate to. So we've taken our best-selling piece type. Now I, I do want to point out this. This is a boxed wine glass in this collection, and it is beyond or adorable. It says, "Don't test my patience." And it's got little needles all over it. I just think that's so funny. This is a um, big selling one. And then also, um, you will find a bunch of bad drills, um, different bad drill three packs in the back of our collections for our nurses. Teachers. As a former teacher, I would have loved to receive any and all of these products. The clean lines, the um, sayings that um, some of them are very funny and other ones are very true in how teachers feel about themselves. So um, these are useful items that a teacher will be, will use. And we don't have, yes, we have apples in the pictures, but you're not gonna find red apples on our teacher gifts. And I have to do this pun, but I know all my teacher friends give this an A plus. I gift it to my kids' teachers and they love it. Oh, and I also wanna say about that, going into fourth quarter, um, I know I personally give my kids' um, teachers a Christmas gift, but that is a trend. So I really think that you need to point that out to your customers that teacher gifts are great for Christmas and fourth quarter. So we've done um, Mother's Day for years. And about two years ago, we decided to keep it in our catalog year round, mom, Nana, and grandma, because our customers kept requesting it. And um, so we've kept it in the catalog. Again, proven piece type, the best mom ever stainless steel tumbler is one of our top selling um, pieces. But again, this is a, um, great for their birthdays just because and going into fourth quarter Christmas gifts. These make wonderful Christmas gifts. Okay, so friend and birthday girl, um, girlfriend gifts are on the rise and continue to trend really well, not only for Mary Square, but across the board. We love our girlfriends and we wanna celebrate them. Well, this way you can celebrate your girlfriend's style with the fun, beautiful, bright collection that we offer, cute sayings again in boxed and packaged wine glasses that are easily giftable. But another thing I love about this collection it is just so pretty and fun that, you know, there, people have birthdays all year long. So this is great tabletop set and you can switch things up and change it out all year long. Okay, wedding must-haves. So our wedding collection, I think it is beyond fabulous, but it takes someone that from their engagement to planning their wedding all the way through um, with bridesmaid gifts, gifts for the uh, father of the bride, mother of the bride, along with I love our um, we our wedding planner that we offer. That is a top selling product in this collection um, to help them plan out their wedding. And in addition, I've heard a lot of feedback from our customers. They love our soft color palette that we use on this because um, it works well in every store and it's just very beautiful. Inspiration. So our uh, Mary Square was founded on inspiration and we stay true to our roots with this collection. Um, it ranges from drinkware to our inspirational decals to our wood art blocks. Thank you. So I do want to show you um, the little, the pack. here's the packaging. There's two per pack and um, it easily can fit in a, a card. Um, and then this is the actual product. So it just peels away. Look at the cute shape of that. Because I know you guys did not have that in your sample kit because we didn't have mm -hmm. it. Um, this will go on any smooth surface and you can just easily pick it off, peel it off. I'm gonna let Chelsea do that so I don't waste time. Um, I love that product. Uh, it won't damage any surface or peel off any paint. So um, this was one of our foundations from seven, eight years ago and we brought it back and made it even better. And then our little uh, block, that have the inspirational cards, they are gonna look beautiful on anyone's desk while pro providing encouragement in all walks of life. Roots and Wings, we um, released this co co collection back in January. I love this collection, it was, um, it's a very thoughtful collection. It was handwritten by one of our in-house designers. She's a beautiful writer. She studied the characteristics of these animals and came up with a really thoughtful description um, to talk about those animals. And the display is adorable. Um, these are going to make, these are perfect, um, thoughtful gift for anyone. But I really see that going into fourth quarter, again, this is going to be a great product for stocking stuffers. Um, I've heard from several of our customers that purchase this and they love putting it at the cash register because people, when they're waiting in line, will read through and they have fun trying to figure out what animal they are. 
and they usually will buy whatever animal they relate to and it makes a good girlfriend gift. I'm actually wearing the, I don't know if you can see it, but the gold coin. And then we have a silhouette and a geometric. And I'll send you out the description so that way you have them if customers ask. But I am an octopus and you can look that up. It means determined. <laughs> All right. So this probably is my favorite category that Mary Square does, statement apparel. Not only um, is it um, luxurious, the polyester rayon handling hand blend fabric, but it is just fun. It fits in every store. And um, you all did receive, for those that got, I think the majority of you all did get your samples, but this is definitely a product. If you go into a store and someone's like, oh, I don't need sweatshirts or t-shirts or I don't do them. I always say, please just feel it. You've got to feel this. And instantly, majority of our customers, people are like, oh my gosh, this is the softest thing. I love it. Um, and also, it's, I consider them very versatile. I have ones that I work out in, ones that I sleep in, and ones that you'll probably see me at market with jeans and cute shoes. So it's a versatile product. Our sweatshirts, they do phenomenal third and fourth quarter. I would say they're in our top selling categories for third and fourth quarter. Um, and what am I missing on this, Chelsea? Oh, the sizing. That. Yes, thank you. So um, the amazing thing, this isn't just with Statement Apparel, it's with all of Mary Square Apparel. We um, do sell in free packs. Your store doesn't get any type of discount, but it's an easy scan for you guys on the road or at the show, but it's two per size. But we also do two per size, whether they want to open stock it or they want to, when they go to reorder, they can only buy the smalls and mediums if that's what they sold. So not just with um, a, a statement apparel, all apparel. And we do sell t-shirts year round and sell them well. This is probably another one of my favorite categories. And actually, um, Chelsea, we just got, when we got the other stuff, we got one up. She is wearing one of our new fall dresses that just got delivered today. We actually had on the same dress. I showed up, I'm from Virginia. I drove down and I showed up wearing the same thing that she was wearing. They're twins this morning yes. that I tra changed over. So our apparel is um, a, a beautiful thing about statement apparel and this apparel. There really is no fitting room. We offer very classic, clean cut apparel that um, there really doesn't need to be um, a fitting room required. So that really opens up the types of stores that purchase this. The fabric is very luxurious. Um, I wanna point out our leggings. I love our leggings. They're super easy to sell because there's two sizes. A small, which is a zero to, zero to 12, and a large, which is a 12 to 18. Um, they look fabulous with our, they look fabulous with our statement apparel and can very be easily be dressed up with our tunic tops or um, with our tunic, tunic tops. Mm -hmm. yes. And again, open sizing. And there's some more pictures of our fall apparel. This is our sweater cow neck. I have one behind us. Very soft. I love it. But as you can see, the maxi has pockets. And it's not so thick that the West Coast um, can't purchase that. And like we've already touched on this, but I do want to say the vacation ready, yeah. vacation ready is beyond fabulous for traveling. I call it the perfect market dress. I mean, I had this in a suitcase last night when I traveled down and got it out of my suitcase this morning. No ironing. It's very flattering. And um, again, no fitting room required. Open, uh, pre open sizing. And I just want to say, you'll see us wearing these at market because they, we sell them when we wear them. People see them and they think, oh my goodness, those are like beautiful. And you guys have samples of them. So please, please, please wear them um, as you're selling. And I did want to bring up, um, thank you, Chelsea, because that reminded me. Um, Annie from Alabama, she was on the um, first call and she has actually um, ordered on a retail site twice and then reached out and said, can I, um, what can I do? I want to order more. And I said, well, I can get you set up online. And I can get anyone that reaches out, set up on, on our wholesale site and give you a coupon code for 25% off wholesale. And I've already had about 10 or 12 people from the last call already reach out and say, can you set me up? I want to get more apparel to wear. And you're getting 25% off a of wholesale. This is the best apparel for market because you can literally throw it in your, your uh, suitcase and just pull it out. And it is so comfortable. And 
it's amazing for washer dryer. Yeah. I throw everything. I mean, my kids, I'm like, do not buy something if it says it can't go in the dryer because this girl will put everything in the dryer and this can be put in the dryer and it doesn't shrink or bubble or peel. Hands down the best. So we've taken um, our new um, maternity apparel, we've taken our best selling apparel and redesigned it for moms to be. So these moms will look and feel fabulous and feel like they're in designer maternity. All right, pre packs and display. Mary Swear, and as you could tell with Michelle McDonald Cause, we love pre packs. It just makes it easy to merchandise, easy to scan, easy to sell, and it also makes a beautiful, cohesive collection, and um, it's just easy for the stores. And also, we hear several stores saying, Oh my gosh, I didn't know I needed bad drills, and I looked at my display and I don't have any left. So it's also a good reminder, not only for the reps, for when you're out in a store and be like, Oh, they need X, Y, and Z, it also gives the store. My favorite display actually is this new T-bar that holds is um, ID wallets, lanyards, and key fobs, which um, sell phenomenal for fourth quarter also. Okay, we've talked about this because pretty much Mary Swear, like I said, at the very beginning of the call, but I do want to point this out. We take proven piece type. If something doesn't sell well, it is cut from the next catalog release. And I can tell you everything we have in this catalog is proven top selling categories and t-shirts and sweatshirts, hand down and stainless steel drinkware. I love our new organic shape mug, which you guys did get a sample of that. I thought I had one here. All right, thank you. And Bible cases, I already mentioned key fobs, lanyards, ID wallets, and then I've already also mentioned our carry all. Um, I know I've mentioned this, but we're really proud of this. We've been featured, um, ranked ten, uh, six times in the top 10 over um, since January. And the two I threw out there, I'm most proud of our stainless steel drinkware and our stationery. Oh yeah, let's do a giveaway. And first person to type in the chat box. Okay, I've said this several times. Mary Square loves to sell in what? To ease with merchandising and retelling for the customer. Ah, uh, close. Close. <laughs> We do love some free packs. <laughs> you know what? I think I did that. <laughs> yeah, I did that question second after we talked about okay. building on. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to save that question because I know that the last time I asked that one second. So, who can tell me what was the number one scan in January? There you go. There you go. Kathy. So Kathy, <laughs> Kathy gets it. Our greeting card. Yeah, I switched those up because I haven't. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good job, Kathy. Email Katie and just um, give her your address and she will. I have her address. Okay, just you're email me so I know that you're the one that um, responded to that. All right. This is when I ask the second question. So I'm sure everybody will get the second question right. But Mary Square is a collection-driven company. We love um, to build collections to create a cohesive story. So um, it's more cohesive and beautiful, but we have see stronger sell-through at the retail level when um, customers build in a story and offer their customers many different price, um, things to choose from, different price points, different options, and also we offer a lot of different display options. Almost every item in the catalog is in a free pack. In the back of the catalog, utilize that for free packs. You will find them throughout the catalog, but it is kind of like an easy index. I call it like an index of free packs to help you build that perfect order. Um, you want to start with your core collections, which are our florals and prints. Build a complete collection using hydration, stationery, all the accessories to build a, a beautiful, cohesive collection. Someone Special is a large catalog and there is something for everyone. And also occasions and person specific um, is a huge continuing growing category in Mary Square and in the industry. We cover all the uh, people and this is something that can be built on year round in addition to our specific holidays too. Um, T-shirts and sweatshirts. 
Remember, this is good for any store type, no fitting room required, and especially during that third and fourth quarter sweatshirt. And they are um, a nice sweatshirt that they're good for around the whole, they're good for any part of the country. Um, statement, I've said this before, but our just staying and our wine glasses, they, um, the beautiful thing about them, their simplicity, they will retail well with all the above three and sit well together to make a nice collection. And then our fall apparel essentials. Our luxurious fabrics, our wrinkle-free material is a home run for not just the apparel store, but for all your boutique. And using all of those five categories, you will build a complete cohesive order for your customer. And the one that we know for sure they will build on and they will reorder and they will reorder often. Okay, I'm not gonna spend much time on this, but I do have over the years, my reps asked for me to send this out quarterly to them. And I think it's a good selling tool. Um, there are, if you do a quick glance, you'll see that stainless steel and t-shirts are on all of them. So, and then we do get a little bit more specific on talking about other things. So our road um, and show special starting the minute we um, partner with you guys this um, Saturday, I think the 15th through August 15th, that will give the time for um, any customers that didn't come to Vegas that the reps can get on the road and see those customers. We have 5% off an order of 1500 or more, 2500 off of an order of 10% or more. And also with that, because I heard somebody ask that, and that was a great question with Michelle McDowell. If your customer writes a now order or they want something, you know, our agenda is not to ship till November. If you build an order at 10, uh, 2500, they will get, if they want it to ship, you know, three different ship dates, they will get the 10% off each ship date. So I wanted to make that clear. That was a good question someone asked. For our rep spiffs, um, we're doing $5 um, per new account on orders over $1,500. And I want to say that that is so easy to do. When you look at Mary Square's collection and you use those five, I mean, that you can easily, we see orders easily three, $4,000 for an opening order. Um, we offer so much for your stores and great product. So um, highest total dollar amount per day will $100 for first place, um, second place, 50, and third, 25. These are so <laughs> Thank you on the steps. That's amazing. Amazing. Thank you. Well, we love, we love um, encouraging and making it fun and adding a little extra excitement. I mean, in all honesty, Mary Square does sell itself. It's beautiful. And we want to just reward our reps. And we are really excited to partner with you guys. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, opening order is 500, reorder is 200. This is really important um, to submit. I know we've already talked about it, but I'll just say it again. Just submit a valid credit card with every order. Invalid credit cards really slow us down. The one beautiful thing that we have been doing, I'd say the, what, the last three months or so, um, mm -hmm. after Chelsea in April import the orders, they'll send me an email, me and Krista an email, and it highlights any order that came in and that their credit card didn't pre-authorize. So I immediately, within 24 hours, you're gonna know, Katie's Boutique's credit card didn't, um, didn't go through, can you get a new credit card? So we wanna keep that up to date and moving um, very quickly. I just wanna speak on that for a second, and that is, you know, we extend terms after three orders have been made with a valid credit card. We will offer the chance for the retailer to fill out a credit application to get terms. But our preference is always to work off of valid credit cards. It's the fastest way to get us and then you guys pay quickly. So if there's ever a question about that, we of course extend terms for hospital gift shops, casinos and resorts, but we do prefer credit cards and valid ones. That definitely slows down the orders quite a bit when they're not valid. Um, and the same thing for information in an order. We want valid information when you submit the order. Email, phone number for the store is super important that we have accurate uh, contact information. Yes, because we, um, we email their invoice the day their order ships. So if we don't have an email and file, you're, it's going to create more work for you because I'm gonna, they're gonna, your customer is going to reach out and say, I need an invoice from Mary Square. So if we have that on the front end, it makes it a lot more simple. 
And I'm not going to really say much about this. I do just want to say that um, I absolutely loved, you can change the slide. I um, absolutely loved um, getting getting the responses from the email that you guys sent out. A lot of our stores have already reached out. Super excited to be partnering with One Coast. They love their One Coast rep. So we're excited about that. Um, I do want to say that after this training and after you get your catalog and you um, get comfortable with your samples, if you still need questions um, or have questions or feel like you need additional training before market, that is why I'm here. I love helping support you. I'm like the ride-along queen. I don't know how many ride-alongs I've been on since I've taken this job, but I am here to encourage and support you and work with you to grow your Mary Square business and feel like the expert. So are there any questions? I know a lot of people are mute. Any questions, you guys? Comments? I know this segment moves very smoothly through, so. If you guys want to see that, you can do that as well. Go ahead. In our sample kit, did we get all of the patterns? I'm not sure I saw Monaco. No, not Monaco. We, this is the first time I'm seeing it. Um, all the showrooms have it. But um, this is the first, last week when I was in the office is the first time I saw it. So there are a couple things, including the decals um, that we'll have to send out. And also, I like to tell my reps, like, if you, um, we're not going to physically send you everything that um, possible, because that would be a lot. It would, like, load up your whole trunk. But if you need something specific when you're on the road that you didn't get, please reach out to me. I'm here to get you that. I was going to highly recommend to everybody on the call today, in the back of the Mary Square catalog, I mean, there's, you can see everyone's contact information on 92, you know, get yourself prepared to sell on the 15th, get Michelle's, you know, get everyone's, um, Katie's number in there, um, her email address, um, Krista's, just so you're ready. Um, to be reaching out to them with questions or concerns. So save those contacts um, as soon as possible. So we get on board quickly and start, you know, turning those orders in. <laughs> Chelsea's trying to rename that I'm Katie, not Michelle, but I know what you meant. All yeah, my, yeah. I, I, I corrected myself. Michelle, I I corrected Michelle's computer. Same thing, well, same thing happened in the last call. Yeah. Too. Okay, we have a chat, hold on. <laughs> All right. Oh, thank you, Colleen. Thank you. I, I was going to make a quick comment too, and I think um, my, myself looking through the product as much as I could and online and through the catalogs you sent, but what, what really resonated with me today was the diversity of what we have, that what, what you've brought to us, the diversity of the product um, is really amazing and overwhelming. And I think it's, it's really going to play into um, categories that territory managers have been um, looking for. Um, we may have sold in the past, you know, similar, it, it we, you know, that we all want and need. Um, plus the opportunities with Michelle McDowell and Cause to kind of be the, what is it called when you forge forward? You're the first one to kind of, um, you know, climb that mountain. So I'm looking forward to, you know, opening those two um, lines extensively in the West. So oh, we are really we are excited too. about that as well. <laughs> the West is, um, we are, it's an untapped territory. I know. <laughs> are so you excited? Excited? We have some big, sh yeah, we got to go out there. Yeah, very quick. Yeah, and I loved, um, I don't know who said, because I was um, not, um, I was off to the side, but you know, the thing with Vegas being the last market is we do sell out of, you know, um, the Michelle McDowell's jewelry, I think, sold out in three days in Atlanta. So, and we see that with all the things, but um, you guys are, we'll have hard catalogs, you know, in the next week. Get on the road. I would love to be able for, to get those West, quarter, uh, West Coast orders in because you know that Dallas is going to be having market and then there's um, Atlanta. So, I would love to be able to get the West Coast orders in. So, that they get first pick of their, their orders get shipped first. Right, use that, use that to get on the road, get in front of your customers, guys, to get those road appointments, expand your road appointments. And of course, you can write on the road and write at show. So you can- So I see um, a couple, I don't, I'm cutting in and out, I'm sorry. I see a couple questions. Um, you, we, 
email khampton at mary square and i will get you set up i did just look our website is down at the moment but as soon as it's back on i will get you set up and you'll get an email link and a coupon code so you can start um ordering and we ship out those orders within probably two to three days when they come from the website so you can get your extra clothes i mean mary square is my uniform that's all i wear and then um colleen we do amazing in resorts and casinos and we can't wait to partner with you guys and if you have a specific store i love like the little list that i did for you guys with hospital gift shop and all of that i know you guys are the expert but this is a new line and new categories for you guys so if you um i do a lot of those for reps when they say hey i'm going to go into this store can you you know put together a sample order or can you put together set suggestions that's what i'm here for and i love doing that kind of stuff will you send out that power that particular sheet or should i just pull it from your powerpoint um well you can i was gonna so what i was gonna do because i did quickly go through our brand story and um, there were some things that i did very quickly just because i know you guys have been on calls so what i always do after trainings is i send a recap email and I will also have like the roots and wings descriptions in there just so they can have that and put that in their Mary Square folder. I also will, um, I'll send out all things Mary Square, just kind of like a recap with some PDFs and some stuff. So that way um, you can reference back to it because it's a lot in a call. That sounds great. No, I, I think that's fantastic. That's exactly what we need. Yes. Can you send out a list of what samples we're supposed to have too? Like, I'm not sure I have a root and wing. <laughs> yeah, I will. Uh, Chelsea did that and um, she just stepped away. So I will have her send that out. Yes, everybody should have gotten roots and wings. I put together the um, suggestions um, and I know that roots and wings is on there. But if not, we can well, definitely get you that. Um, maybe it's in there and I, I just need to look again, but okay. It's on a cute little That's card okay. about this size. And it's got the description and it's a hard um, card stock. But if not, just email me and we will definitely get that sent out to you. Because okay. the warehouse could have missed that, so it is small. Um, Katie, Katie, I got a couple texts um, while I was on the call. Some people have not gotten their samples. Are they still hitting it? So what happened? Chelsea discovered. Um, I don't know how many. Um, everybody on the first call had received theirs, um, but a couple of them got stuck. Um, I don't know exactly what happened, but they are all being sent out today, the ones that um, got stuck in our system. Okay. So, so if you don't have them by the end of the week, definitely call, email, or text me. But Chelsea did just check with the warehouse manager and the ones that got held up are definitely being sent out today. Okay, so hey team, if you didn't get your samples, maybe text me too so I can just stay in the loop as well. Um, I just heard from a couple on the call. So if you have not, just text me and we'll, we'll work together to get those out yes, to you. Linda, if you could um, maybe like at, at the end of the day or even tomorrow, just send me a list of those reps and then okay. I will cross check with the list that I got from the warehouse, the ones that are shipping out so we can verify. Um, They've all been entered. Okay, that sounds good. All right, I'm gonna ask that other question. Mary Square loves to sell in what for the ease of merchandising for our retailers and customers? <laughs> I, I did say lots of prepacks. <laughs> Mm, anyone else? There we go. Collection. <laughs> collection. So thank you. But we do love free packs. It's an easy way to get your order total up. <laughs> and all of our collections do come in free packs. Is it Avis? It was Avis. Okay, yep. Avis, if you can just send me an email, uh, collections I won, and I'll get you a gift card out. Okay, thanks. All right. Are there any last questions? I am so excited to start our um, journey. Um, please also email me if you want to get set up on our whole site so you can buy some more stuff. Will do. All right. Thank you guys so much. I'm looking forward Thank to working you. with you guys. Thank you. Bye, Bye guys. Everyone. Have a good day. Bye. Thank you. Bye.